ACL Nation, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is feeling good to be back. Wally K9 Castler joined by Jake Brannon here in Tridelphia, West Virginia. We are ready for some women's action starting off with a banger. Sarah Cassidy, Sam Finley. Jake, how are you doing, brother? I'm living the dream, man. I'm so happy to be here. Beautiful area. Let's go. Yeah, lo loving the uh, the turf this year. Big switch up from last time we were here at the uh, Highland Sports and Events Center in Tridelphia. So in case you guys are following along on the app, on the Fan Zone app, you might notice none of the scores are getting entered. They're having a little bit of internet connectivity issues. But for court one, that should not be an issue. With the, We have them uh, set up our own personal Wi-Fi, so we're ready to roll. Looks like the ladies are started. Man. All the text messages and direct messages asking, when am I going to be back? When am I going to be back? I'm here, baby. We'll get the score and tablet and everything updated there. But in the meantime, chat, how are you guys all doing? It's 2 to nothing start. Sarah in the lead. I mean, West Virginia, it's, what, about, I think, an eight-hour drive from Florida? How far is Florida from here? I mean, it's, it's got to definitely got to be more than that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. It took me four hours to get here, and it takes me probably ten hours to get to yeah. Florida. Uh, again, more. I'm geographically um, – Yeah. Insulin, so. And I can already see the comments starting. Let's go. I am working on uh, fixing the score bug. Yeah, a little bit of a late start, but, uh, hey, we are here. What up, Jake? Welcome in, guys. Nate, how you doing? The professor, Anthony, checking in. I think uh, we kind of looked at the sign-ups. We did our own little players and doubles teams to watch. And I have to say, I think it's kind of a stacked field. I'm, I'm leaning towards stack. Uh, yeah, that's what, I would, uh, that's what I would say, too, personally. As far as, like, top 20-ish players, I mean, I believe Jamie Graham and Frank Marlin were late scratch. So we're going to miss out on having them here. But other than that, man, we're, we're hitting all the bases. Sarah, so new to the BG lineup this year, a little BG on BG crime. Oh yeah. I'm going to... I'm going to try to talk and communicate, but like I said, I'm trying to uh, hey, you're Gucci, man. You do, this you do work over there. I forget how to do it. From where? I don't care. I'm good. No, I'm Anthony good. says, Jake, did I see you partnering up or am I tripping? No, that's Papa. Papa in Wooten, right? No, yeah, that's, my, that's my daddy. That's my good old father figure, John Brandon. You did, however, see Jake Brandon looking all fleekable on that front page there. Open number 11 brackets on the a I Play ACL page. Hey. Talking to Mark Richards with an interview. That's where you guys can go. Check out the Fan Zone app or go to iPlayCornhole.com to check out the brackets. Again, you're not going to be able to see any lifetime scoring until they get the Internet situation figured out. But until then, we'll do our best to keep you guys informed of the action here on court number one. Seven to two is the score. Finley in the lead. Get Whoops. the camera switched here in a second. There we yep. go. Yep. That's a little better. And then after this match, we'll take our first commercial break, and then we'll be right back, and I'll go through the brackets and let you know who's on the winner's side and who's on the loser side of things. I want to thank our sponsor for coming in this weekend, Bust You Up Cornhole, and Beard Guys, bringing you guys the live feeds here from Tridelphia. Open number 11, Jake, out of 16, bro. Crazy, dude. Pro season right around the corner. Cannot wait to get that started. I am really, really excited to see what the rookies can do this year. So the winner of this match will advance to the semifinals to take on either Kimberly Jenkins or Kaylee Hunter. On the other side, we have Connie Altice taking on Emily Downer, and then Cameron Belvin back in action taking on Peyton Haynes. Good compliment right there from Alex. 
best commentator duo. Let's go. Good morning, Connie. Yeah, um, I'll be in Venture. I believe it's going to be me and Corey doing the Spencer McKenzie live broadcast yep, this year. I'm not good enough. Oh, well, Jake, you play your cards right. You might get asked by a professional player to go out there and play in it and have a great time that way. So, Or you could do like I did last year and partner up with uh, Sean Latham. Everything down the middle and in here so far. It's going to be weird not seeing the PPR stats and stuff. We had to get the brackets going. They are working tirelessly on the Internet situation to make sure all the other matches can get assigned. Nine to four now, Finley in the lead. I don't believe Sarah has a singles title under her belt yet this year. Lindy, what's going on? Who's commentating in Brighton? I'll be there in Brighton. I will also be there in Brighton. Same duo, baby. Running it back. And we'll be as equally tired on Friday as we are here because yep. another late setup. Checking in over on the seniors bracket, Pat Sim comes in as your number one seed. He's taking on Chucky Love. Steve Schrader taking on Donald Cup. Mike Wright taking on Andrew Noyes. And then Lee Tibbs taking on Robbie Davis. So one name right off the bat that I don't see on the winner's side is Damon Dennis. Yeah, looks like he just fell to Steve Schrader, 22-18. to 18. So how about that? Junior's bracket, Jackson Gore taking on Navarro Dip. Jackson Gore defeats Jacob Gore, 21-7. to seven. Crazy. Gabriel Clawson taking on Ryan Trader. Winners of those matches go to the King C match. We are tied here 9-9. Nine, nine. We'll do a PPR check right after this round. No sponsors for the PPR check, Jake, but if anyone is out there interested in sponsoring the PPR check in round 10, let us know. Hit me up. Would love to see your live feed uh, or your logo on the live feeds. For sure. All right, we got everything set up here for replay for me to push buttons. Yep. You don't nope. Have to, don't have to hit that little yep. thing. Yep. Oh no, you do. Hmm. Now you can. Now we're good. Nine, nine game, round 11. It stinks I haven't been able to watch mu watch mu must most of it. Wow, here we go. <laughs> we're starting off strong. <laughs> Again, chats, so I'll give you guys an idea of the weekend that we are getting ourselves into here. Came in yesterday. <laughs> Actually, I came in two days ago because I was expecting to set up early yesterday. We didn't even get in until about 9 o'clock. Yep. Finished setting up about 12.30. Woke up at 5.30, turned right around to finish the setup. Made our way back in here. Got everything working. Again, shout out to Corey as usual. Working behind the scenes to make everything possible. Today's going to be the long day, too. We got yep. women's juniors and seniors this morning. We have pro teams this afternoon slash evening. And then we have minor league teams uh, in the evening as well. So it's going to be a long, long day. Yeah, tomorrow sleep in day. Well, sleep in a little bit. For sure. Jim wants a little canine versus great shots action in Brighton. Man, I would love to make it happen. We're going to have to do it like 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock or something them during the weekday. It's going to be hard to get people out there. Are you guys allowed to curse? Poop, yeah, we are. <laughs> what up, Jason? <laughs> Frick yeah, bro. Come on. Let's say whatever we want, darn it. Camera's out of focus. Ah, oh, man. Well, yeah, we fixed it. But look at that picture, though. I know, right? It's yeah, I'll, clear. I'll have to fix that during the commercial break, too. A couple, couple things. You know, just a rough, rough trial and error. First matchup of, this, of the weekend. 
So bear with us. Cassidy misses a little left. Ooh. I wonder if Sam will go after it. I doubt it, but you never know. Did you do the PPR check? Oh, yeah, I do have a tablet, don't I? <laughs> I, was, I was looking for it. <laughs> you stole it from me, man. Let's see. Wait for that round to go in. Sarah throwing a 10-6-9 with seven four baggers. Sam Finley a 10-5-4 with six four baggers. So one thing I have noticed, Sarah Cassidy, when she throws with her outside arm, she throws with her right foot forward. Mm -hmm. When she goes to the other end with her hand inside the board, she throws with her left foot forward. Yep. That's what uh, I don't know if it was on my show or where I talked about doing that with me. I was like, yeah, I feel like that's what I need to do. That's weird. Like right foot forward when my arm is. So I'm, I'm the opposite. When my arm is over the board is whenever I throw with my right foot forward. And then left foot forward with my arm on the outside. Huh. That's how you get them high PPRs, man. That's why I'm throwing like 10 and a half, 11, you know. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Why are you behind the desk? <laughs> Dude, people need me. I'm back here doing God's work, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> This is uh, low key been a long game, thirteen to nine, only fifteen rounds in. So we got a chance to throw just a little bit before this. Here we're kind of messing around with Alex and Noah. Do you feel like the boards are playing slow, just right, or? I, mean, I think the boards are fast, but I was also fast. throwing really fast bags, so it's hard. It's really hard to tell. I feel like they're a little bit on the faster side as well. Yeah, the, uh, conditions in here, I mean, it's pretty pretty average. Not super humid, though. That's a big thing. So until we get a lot more people in here tomorrow, I feel like the boards are going to run a little fast. Over 330 doubles teams signed up for tomorrow, Wally. That's going to be a fun day. Well, this is going to be a hard collect for Sam if she wants to grab that. Shout out Justin Clem. Ooh, she Stays sits on, on the though. back. Yeah. Sarah could look to get at least two if she goes in here. Oh, no. Good defense. She knocks her off. That's, that's one way to get it. And Sam hits the clean air mail to give up one. It's an eight on seven. Yeah, she got a little piece of that bag sitting right on the red zone, though. Wasn't enough to peel it off the top. I think Sarah's bag was sitting on top of it, holding it down, but. 14 to 9. Sam Finley, fresh off of her Canadian championship. If you're looking at the standings, Sam Finley comes in as the overall number one seed for the tournament. Sarah Cassidy comes in as the 24 seed. First matchup was against her pro partner, Elizabeth Tennyson, defeated her 21 to 2. And T Tina Stacy, 21 to 11. Bag number four off to the side, so Sarah's going to pick up a couple more. 16 to 9 now. Good morning, everybody in the chat. We've, we've had like 30 people say hello and good morning to us. I haven't noticed a single one until now. Oh, man, yeah. They're, How's they're it going, everybody? It. Missed you guys. Am I heading to conference after this? No, I'm, I'm in a different conference. I'm in Midwest Conference. We've already had both ours. I'm just waiting on Illinois State now. And I'm not sure I'm going to go play in it. I've been throwing pretty bad lately. You just said you were throwing 11s and 10s, and what happened? Mm -hmm. That's bad. Yeah? I need to get up to 12s. What's up, Hunter? This is in Triadelphia, West Virginia. So if you look at a state, if you look at a map of West Virginia, you see that little point that goes straight up just in between Ohio and Pennsylvania. That's where we're at. Highland Sports Center, beautiful venue. We'll show you our overhead camera in just a second. Yeah, I thought it was called Highland Sports in a minute, but maybe it's just called Highlands? I don't know. I guess. At the Highlands. Played against sports at the Highlands. Bunch of basketball courts across the way. Yep. 
Volleyball football field here. Volleyball. Yeah, yeah, we got we got the whole football field. That's been like the uh, the real talk of the weekend chat, and we'll open it up to discussion for you guys. How long would it take for you to run goal line to goal line in a foot uh, on a football field? Goal line to goal line, full blown sprint. How long would it take you to run? I'm putting myself at 25 seconds to run it, and then three and a half minutes to recover. <laughs> I don't know. My like, I think my toxic trait is I think I can get that in under twenty seconds. If I'm like, if I have adrenaline pumping, and I'm feeling it, Gage Landis says fourteen seconds. There's absolutely no way. Absolutely no way. Yeah, this camera's a little blurry. We're gonna fix that during the commercial. We're gonna fix all the, a lot of stuff once this game's over. But I mean, we're already going into round twenty-one. A double four bagger wash right there. <laughs> According to what's chasing me, good call. <laughs> it's facts. <laughs> Zach Shibby says he can do it in under 20. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> Another social back-to-back -back double four-baggers. Of course, calling me. Let's go, chat. I need some coffee, man. I need to order some cornhole coffee. I haven't had any in a while. I've been run out. Olympians at nine seconds. Yeah, we're definitely not Olympians. That's kind of the point. It's I don't want to see fast people running. I want to see us out of shape cornhole players. Whoopsie. If you're an in shape cornhole player, then I'm definitely not talking to you. Jake thinks he can outrun me. And I'm like, man, I have a metal rod in my ankle and my knee. Man, I don't think there's any way he's outrunning me. Exactly, Kelly. Who wants to run for no reason? Nobody. Nobody. Brian wants to know when we'll see the overhead camera. He's asking over on TikTok if you want to, if you want to switch it up and uh, head on over to Facebook or YouTube. You can see the overhead cameras there. As far as the TikTok view, this is pretty much what we get. We'll have to. Can you switch the TikTok camera? There we go. But yeah, my cardio is definitely gone. Um, I, I know that I know that I, I I lost my, you know, I, I lost my cardio whenever I quit playing sports. But I, I really want to blame COVID, so I'm gonna blame COVID for my lack of cardio. It's a good way to do it. But uh, yeah, once I quit playing softball, man, I, I cannot hold my breath anymore. I get winded now, up and down the stairs. Come on now. Where is Jake at? I'm right here. I'm right here. Gage says Juwan is the fastest cornhole player. That's what I said too. Who did who did um who did Al I said Blaine Rose. I think Blaine Rose would Alan be up Rawls, there. Alan Rawls, he said. Alan Rawls would be fast, he said. Entering round number twenty five. A nineteen eleven lead for Sarah Cassidy. I feel like Damon Dennis is sneaky fast. I mean, look, these He's seniors tall, are already man. surprising me after we, what we saw at a Steve Schrader last night. So you never know. Yeah, last night uh, I was feeling absolutely miserable, and then uh, I made a bet that I could throw a bag 80 feet for the long toss, and they're like, no uh -oh. no way. This is in for the win. I hate to burst your – I hate to stop you in your she tracks. Is that's in. it. First matchup of the weekend, we see Sarah Cassidy take down Sam Finley. Congrats to her. All right, chat. Yeah, we'll continue the story in a little bit. We're going to have some camera work to do. 
We'll come back with more women's seniors or juniors action right after this. All right, Cornell fans, welcome back in. Waiting for the next match to get assigned to us. But I believe I know who we are getting. So if you guys are following along on the Fan Zone app, I think we're going to switch over to the seniors division. Right now, Pat Sim and Chucky Love underway on court 57. But we're going to get Lee Tibbs and Andrew Noyes. Let's go. That's your peoples. That is my peoples. Going through the other brackets real quick before we get into this. Ryan Trader taking on Gabriel Clausen on court 67. Jackson Gore taking on Navarro Dip on court 65. So let's take a look at the seniors bracket here and show you exactly who is left alive. And, Jake, I think we might have something happening here that would be a first, at least in my experience. Yeah. If the seniors bracket can finish before the women's bracket. Or if any bracket, any bracket in general. Ever. <laughs> that would be a first for me in a long time. But, yeah, we were kind of talking about it going into the break. Steve Schrader last night and myself, we were throwing over 80 feet trying to hit the long toss, trying to figure out what the Guinness Book of World Records would be. And Steve, Steve was chucking about 80, 83 feet, no problem. It was it was impressive. I thought I was the only one that I knew that could actually chuck him that far. What up, Corey? What up, Irv? But I, I'm, I'm still convinced. What I... What was my longest? Ninety feet? Did I hit ninety? I don't. Know. I don't know if that was accurate, but I think I hit ninety. It hit the thirty-yard line. If my math is mathing, thirty times three is ninety. Let's 
I was able to uh, go out to a restaurant last night, have a drink with Andy and, and his wife. Lovely people. Nice invite. But, uh, you just I you decided to go across the street to a worse restaurant. I don't want to hear it. It wasn't that great. I had a great I had a great dinner last night. It was delicious. Yeah, that dinner two nights ago, man, that's got me good for the whole weekend. Yeah, I, and then know, the dessert. Stop so I, I ordered dessert thinking it was like a brownie and ice cream. I'm like, all right, cool. Nice. And then, no, it was four brownies and two <laughs> big <laughs> scoops of ice cream. Like, and I, I ate like, every <laughs> single piece it of it. It was <laughs> delicious, wasn't it? I was done, though. Man, man I'm still feeling it. Let's take a look at how these gentlemen got here to this point. Lee Tibbs, I believe, has a senior's title this year. Yeah, right? he won Tiverton? it in uh, Tiverton, Rhode Island, looking for number two. Took that one down. Came in as the seventh seed, defeated Kevin Ohl 21 to three, then 21 to two over Jim Schaefer, and then 21 seven over Robbie Davis. Andy Noyes comes in as the sixth seed, defeats John Brandon 21 to nothing. Damn. And then uh, Mark Bullett and then Mike Wright. So both players really not giving up that many points up to this stage so far. Brian in the TikTok chat says, I think I could run an entire football field in about three weeks. I like your chances. How's it going? I like your chances. But chat, let me ask you a very important question. Did you guys miss me? Did you guys miss me? I haven't heard anything about you guys. Wondering where I'm at or anything like that. I know I miss you guys. Dying to get back on the mic. Dying to get out here and run all these wires, Jake. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I stay awake at night. Just I like just, yeah, I miss, I miss, miss it so much. Miss running wires. If anybody has any idea of how to add more wires to our setup, please let me know. I'm always interested in adding more wires. I know Corey's got some ideas. You know, we got a... We got board mics, and then we got, I guess, player mics. We got wires for cameras. What else can we add wires to? We need we need a we need a shot clock. Yeah. We can run wires for that. We could have like the monitors that they have on like the ESPN stage off the side, so players can see on the other end if their bag is like leaning in the hole or something. All right, well, speaking of 40-yard times, there he is. Finally made his way to the court. Lee rocking the Vikings Cornhole Company jersey. And Beltway Baggers on the other side there for Andy. Mark says, I missed you, Wally. Let's go, man. Craig Irvin, my dude. I miss Craig Irvin playing ACL tournaments. That's what I miss. Amen. We got we to run one, Craig. What about wires in front of the boards to trip a sensor when you step over it? I don't mean, I don't think I want that. I mean, that's no. because it's legal to step over the line. It's not like bowling. I feel like he was trying to insinuate something. Yeah, what are you trying to start over there, huh? What are you, what are you trying to huh? say? It's, it's Friday, bro. Jeez. Uh, do I have audio and video snakes? Nah. No, nah, it's kind of hard to pack when you run snakes. Be ready to roll, baby. All right, chat. Here we go. Seniors action hopping over from the women's. We'll try and get the juniors king seat match next. Again, final four in juniors. Ryan Trader, Gabriel Clausen, Jackson Gore, and Navarro Dip. You know where my money's at there in juniors. I'm going to go with Ryan Trader. But in seniors... I mean, who, who are we taking in seniors? We got Pat Sims, Steve Schrader, Andy Noyes, and Lee Tibbs still left on the winner's side. I'm going to have to go with the overall number one seed in Pat Sim. Lee stepping out. He's going after these early. Staying sticky side down. Gets the corner that he wanted. Bag slows, though, right around the red zone. Good placement there on that one from Andy. Let's see how aggressive Lee wants to get. Going up. Very Ooh. aggressive. 
off the back of the board, plus three. Andy new to the seniors division. You can tell he knows how to work the tablet rather quickly. That's how you can tell how long they've been in the seniors division, how quickly they tap on the tablet. Right. Sitting, I just have made the camera focus a little worse, isn't it? Didn't I? It's going crazy. I sure did. It's going in and out. But when it's in, though, it's mud. Give me a big hit. We going slick side down. Cannot collect it. Gives up four more. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with the alien bags that Lee is throwing, but they are here in attendance. If you guys want to swing by their booth and check them out. And it's only that right side. The left mm -hmm. left camera is perfect. It's fine. Got uh, alien cornhole. Cornhole chemistry. Sal Nazukas. AAR in attendance. Siva BG. Of course, the ACL merch tent up and running as well. Can't see who's down there in the corner. Do you know who's on the corner? Where? The vendor booth down there. Uh, no, I, cannot I can't see, can't see it. it. I think we did turn off the autofocus, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, we turned off the autofocus. It's still just acting up. Get what you pay for, you know. Ooh, Lee went up for that airmail. You can hear Jake Gore in the background. It says, wrong names in score. No, that doesn't look like it. I'm seeing Andy Noyes and Lee Tibbs. Yep. And Andy is in the lead, so, yeah. I think we're right. I think we're working. Kunstner going with Steven Seniors, he says. Huh. Not too shabby. I mean, we warmed up his arm yesterday. Wow, Lee off the back. Andy's going to have a chance for may three, maybe five, if he can push this out. The old bully push. The old bully push, baby. I see Steve Schrader and Pat Sim making their way over here. Eric Davis wants to know, is Brett there? <laughs> Not sure. Do you, if, do you know if Brett Guy's here? Um, I don't think he's old enough to play for seniors and too old to play in juniors and definitely not a woman, so not yet. All right, there you go. There you go. Minor league team action later on today. But first, before that, we have pro teams mm -hmm. action. Mm. The defending champs will be here. Pennsylvania Ringers. Man, if I had to put money on the seniors to win a foot race, I might take Steve Schrader after what I saw last year. Right? Steve's probably the most... I mean, yeah, I well, like Frank had the hip surgery, Frank Milan. If it was a speed walking, I would take Frank Bodlin all day. Oh yeah, L length. I'm going. I'm going with the uh, Frank for distance. Yeah, for sure. Bust you up, Cornhill. Checking in the chat. What is up, my dude? Appreciate you guys tuning in. Appreciate you guys sponsoring this weekend chat. If you guys are interested, or even if you're not, check it out anyway. Bust you up, Cornhole. Discount code WVA for 15% off this weekend. Make sure you check them out. Get your apparel. I got my uh, apparel lined up and ready to go tomorrow. Thanks to Raymond Hush. Got myself a uh, one of those God bless jerseys. Are y'all going to Vegas? I'm not. He's starting to starting to climb back into this one. 
ten three. So what do you think? You think it's going to happen? The seniors bracket's going to finish first? I, I mean, know. obviously not faster than juniors. Yeah, no, it's going to be close, but I'd be surprised. Let's go through the loser side real quick. Left you, or let you know who's still left in this tournament. Ronnie Hillman, Robbie Davis, Damon Dennis. Looks like Damon Dennis and Mike Wright just underway over there. Kevin Cook, Donald Cup, Chucky Love, Donald Brill Jr., and Jim Schaefer. That is it. If you're following along with any other seniors, they are not in it anymore. Four bagger for Lee, and that's a social. Uh, Matt Guy is not a senior yet. I, I don't believe from – I've heard a rumor that he's never going to play seniors, to my understanding. Why wouldn't he? I th to my, from what I heard, he says, if I can't win it the other way, then I just don't think I want to play anymore. Sure. But if I'm that guy and I'm still working, I'm probably not taking time off to travel. I mean, that guy is still a working man. I'm no Sean Latham. Man, can't wait to get in the seniors division. He's ready to play. Wrong He's scoreboard. got 11 why years. Does, why does everybody keep saying wrong scoreboard? Camera's wrong on TikTok. Okay, we'll switch the camera real quick. But as far as the scoreboard goes, the scoreboard is 100% right on everything I'm looking at. Yep. I mean, it could probably be cropped a little bit. I just cropped it. TikTok, TikTok has to be cropped on your end, buddy old pal. I don't know how to do it. I don't even know how to find it. What do you do here if you're Andy? Stepping out makes you think backside airmail. He's not going to roll it. Yeah, he's going up. Wow. We'll press the replay on that one. That was weird. There you go. Far left knob. Adjust it. There you Sheesh. go. Yeah, let's see what we got here. See what you got me getting into. <laughs> really <laughs> weird. That's a the old plinko. Just hit, hitting a couple spots, getting the bag to fall. Hey, doesn't matter how it goes in, as long as it goes in. That one's leaning on the edge. Can you flip the camera again, buddy? Hackers be hacking. Says I usually watch on YouTube or Facebook, but this ain't too bad. Welcome into TikTok, man. Hey. You sure I adjust the scoreboard over here? That's what Corey said. It's in uh, OBS. NDI input two, and the layer is locked, so you have to unlock it. Block four, oh. noise, Lee hits the airmail. Oh, I had to enable viewing mode. Never seen that before. Liv Tibbs misses the backside on that one. Andy can slide in for three if he can collect this bag. He does no, not. No, does not. Gives up one. One at a time, Lee Eight looks at me Baby and says, steps. Seniors is 55 and up, Kenny. Yes, 55 and above. Taking it old school this weekend. No pucks, no mat, just turf. 
Yeah, if you ever try to play with mats on turf, it is uncomfortable. So yeah, it is awful. That is a no go. Um, they do make spikes and stuff like that you can put down for turf, but I mean the boards don't move on turf, so that's the main concern is making sure they don't move. Yep. And he goes in for two more, make it fourteen five. The little beard guys PPR check. We're just going to hand around that sponsorship this weekend. But, again, if you're looking at getting your logo on a live feed, you get a cool little graphic popping up right there to see Lee Tibbs 9.18. And Andy throwing a 10. Corey loves making graphics for us. Yeah, he does. Ooh, Andy went aggressive, miss it off the back. This could be a possible five for Lee, get him back in the game. He's going up again for it, and he hits it but does not drag. Lee throws his fourth bag short and only picks up three. I think that aggressive nature there going after that airmail stops Lee from kind of shooting that final bag. He finessed it. I think either way, though, if he gets that collect, it's three. I'm not sure I like the risk, though, being up 14 to eight. I want to keep that lead and try and minimize yeah, points. For sure. Worst case scenario, you give him an eight on that round. But hey, he hit the airmail, though, so yeah. no harm. But Now Lee misses left. I'm just thinking, I'm thinking about grabbing that, and he took an extra second there. Andy, oh, misses the guaranteed two. And now Lee, possible and one situation. <laughs> Is that what he was thinking? He stepped out. I, I was like, he, he's not collecting yeah, that bag. No, yeah. <laughs> he just goes in for his 10. And Andy <laughs> follows. <laughs> Pulling a Hissner. Yells no as the bag falls in the hole. Got one of the uh, oldest questions in the world. You know, how old is it, or how old can you be when you, you can't wear backwards hats anymore? Pat Sim says, I'll wear it forever. Oh, backwards, yeah. Man. He's rocking that thing. He looks good doing it. And he misses left. This time it doesn't sneak back into the hole, and he says no. Another bag to the left of that one will most likely go. Lee needs to sit behind perfectly. No, he creates a lane for Andy. Andy can collect all three of these bags to wash out the round. Whoa, he kind of bar a soap Lee's bag, yeah. missed it to the right, only gets only gives up two. Yeah, got the collect on the front one, misses the bag on the left. He wanted that sneak around shot. Fourteen to ten. It kind of looked like Andy was running away with this thing at first. Not anymore. Navarro dip takes down Jack Gore and is into the king seat of juniors. Wow. I assume they got the uh, tablets working again because I see some scores here. Peyton Haynes yep. and Cameron Belvin, 6'6". Six, six. Connie Altais and Emily Downer, 8-7. to seven. Kimberly Jenkins, Kaylee Hunter, 14-10. Kaylee in the lead there. Sarah Cassidy has already advanced, so women's bracket catching up. All right, so 18 to 10 here, trying to finish it off. We are 16 rounds in. First back block from Andy Lee sits behind. Andy's lane is compromised. We'll see what he does here. He's licking his chops. Oh, he hits a, a nice cut. cut. Wow. Okay. Ooh. 
Did not know that was in his arsenal. I was going to say, I was expecting him to go up top the way he was looking at that. I still, I like the air mill here now more than I did the first bag. Wally, who's the best player at your local events? Usually me. I'm and the who, best player pretty much everywhere I go to. Now, who is it really, though? Who is it really? Nice collect probably, by Lee. Probably Dawson Cummings. Is it Brian Trader not come to your events? He's in St. Louis. He goes to St. Louis more. Yeah. Oh, man. Lee had an opportunity for three. Only gets one. But I'm 1-0 against Ryan Trader. That is true. I think I might even have a winning record against Jake Gore. I think I'm 2-1. That ain't bad. Or 1-1. One one. You, know, you can check out the advanced stats on the ACL player app and figure out what your real record is. I don't think I can, actually, because <laughs> they were not in tournaments. <laughs> ah. I think that might be an entirely different uh, mindset between those two <laughs> if there's money on the line. See, what happens, Jake, is they underestimate me. And yep. They let me come back, and next thing you know, I go on a tear. So I was just goofing around. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, what do we watch, juniors? I know that Ryan Trader went live, um, but I don't think there's anyone else going live that I see. We'll have that uh, king seat match, though. You flip the uh, TikTok cam for me, brother? Yep. That's going to be hard to do this weekend. We need to uh, put that on this stream deck if we can. All right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Since I have. Mm -hmm. Corey, make it happen. Everything in the middle here with the game on the line. And another missed fourth bag there from Andy. Off Climbing to the left. back in. Chipping away. Chip, chip, chipping away. I assume these are the owners, or at least supporters, of Alien Cornhole there behind Lee. Probably adding a little bit more pressure or maybe helping okay. him mount the comeback. And you never know how it plays itself out. That one just bounces right over the whole unfortunate break there for Lee. Andy unable to capitalize, at least for now. And tied to the board. Oh, going airmail. Very aggressive. Gets the corner again. Lee brings it in closer, so normal shot should collect. And it is going to hop over the hole. Seniors first. Yeah. Yeah, cause I think they got a little bit to go on the loser side, right? Yeah, they'll be all right on the loser side still. Yeah, we yeah. 18, 15, we're all, we're, we blinked and we're in round 20. Lee coming back into this one. Yeah, the way this one started, I did not see it going 20 rounds, but. No. Hats off to Lee, standing, standing tall, not giving in. Oh, wow. He went for that cut shot, misses the cut, oh, and I no. think that's a five spot, making oh, it 20 no. to 18. What has happened? I was just going to say the aggressive nature tells me Andy's going to go up for the air mill. He got even more aggressive and went for the cut. He is in trouble now. Wow. That's a lead change. Sponsored by Wally Kassler. Mm -hmm. And now Andy has to be perfect.
Once we get done with women's, juniors, and seniors, guys, I'll be making a post for March Madness, baby. Jake, you a March Madness fan? Big time. I think March Madness is personally my favorite sporting event, like, ever. Andy's thinking about an and one here. And I don't know why. He doesn't have one off, does he? No. It's nine, ten on nine. You go in for a, you go in for two. You go on for a watch. Oh, I guess the and one's the win. What if you hit this and one, you win the game? <laughs> that's what I would do. That's that's what I do at and one. Well, I think Lee wants him to shoot it. He misses off the board. It's over in his favor. <laughs> that is the only problem. Oh, I love that about the seniors division, man. They all just talk to each other in the middle of the match like it's nothing. Yeah, he's just going to go for the slide and go in for two to take uh, to tie Let's the game. Oh, 20, 20, 20 rounds? That's what I'm talking about. Get me back into action in a good way. Steve Schrader and Pat Sim both warming up over there on the other courts. That will be our next match before we head into the juniors King's seat, which is already determined. Gabriel Clausen takes down Ryan Trader, 21 to 20. And he missed his first bag. That's out of play. A four-bagger wins it for Lee. And he needs to get a black down, but his bags are so fast. Lee with an unintentional block. That'll pretty much do it. That one's out of play. In. Yep, that bag is as good as in. Andy needs to go clean and hope Lee misses it. Wow. That's going to do it. Wow, what a comeback, Wally. Yeah, Lee Tibbs found himself down 10 to nothing, able to complete the comeback and take this one down over Andy Noyes. We're going to take a break, chat, when we come back, more seniors action. Steve Schrader, Pat Sim, right after this.
All right, ACL Nation, welcome back in. Next match has been assigned. Steve Shredder and Pat Sim. Got Jake still working on the uh, camera over there, trying to get everything squared away. I'm going to do my best to push buttons from far away, see if I can make this happen. Still going down and back, so these bags aren't live yet. I believe they'll start over here on the right-hand side. All right, here we go, chat. Talk amongst yourselves for a little bit. I won't be able to see the chat. Again, Jake kind of working on the camera. Steve throwing the bag right now. He's rocking the Sub-Zero jersey, throwing the Winter Tides. Pat Sam rocking the Fire Cornhole jersey. He is throwing the Fire Embers. Slick side down. How about that battle between the Power Dragons and and the winter tides on the big ass uh, battle of the bags. That was amazing. A lot of votes came down to the wire. Who won? I believe the winter tides advanced. Did they? Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh wow. wow. Jinx. Landed on the bag, got it to spin around the hole, but did not fall. How about that? Oh, by the way, uh, Corey granted your wish. You now have a TikTok camera button on your stream deck. Yeah, a boy. Where? You see it? ATEM Auto 2. Me too? Yep, me too. That's TikTok cam. Can you do anything about this glare on my monitor? Nope. Corey's my hero. You know, when I get older, I'm going to be just like Corey. Yeah? One day. The camera looks more focused on this side now. I think we may have fixed it. Path Sam goes up for the airmail again. This time he gets them all for the social. Heck of a bag right there. Good action so far. We saw Sarah Cassie and Sam Finley have a pretty good battle. Lee Tibbs, Andy Noyes, strong battle. Yeah, we had some good games. I Two good the games. Same thing here. Again, the path to get here has not been easy for either one of these two. Pat Sim comes in as your overall number one seed. Had a good battle against Chucky Love, 22 to 20 to advance. And then Steve Schrader against Damon Dennis, 22 to 18. But the usual suspects still left alive in the seniors division. Alin Lidasur checking in from Canada. Welcome in. Hope you guys are enjoying some cornhole this weekend as well. This looks like push misses too far to the right. That one goes off the back of the board. Steve's in position, hits his first air mail. I think he should be able to collect that one on his next one. Pat going backside, misses it. Now he's set up for an and one or the drag. Stepping all the way out, though. Tells me he's just wanting to go in. Slick side down. Misses it too far to the side. Takes oh Pat off the man. back with him. I would have bet money that Steve would have shot another airmail in that yeah, situation. Why don't you shoot an airmail there? Again, you get the end one, you get six. You get the collect and the end one, you get seven. Come on now. Decision making. Huge part of the game. Seven to two right now. Steve in the lead. 
Five rounds in. You know, Pat Sam, another player. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what him and Kaylee do in the uh, pro division this year. Yeah. I'm excited. Oh, Schrader off the back. In for three to make it a two-point game. Count it. Oh, come on. It's not focusing again. Pat's starting to get locked in. Steve stepping out to the edge of the tape. Then he, now he comes back in, realizes he's not going to be able to grab that. Path, nice job going around. It kind of pushes it out of the way. Difficult collect for Schrader. No, it's going to be six. It's a lead change, Pat Sem. 11 7. <laughs> Got some people in the chat absolutely bothered by the fact that he has slow bags and f throws fast side only. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's a feel thing, you know. If you, w if you like the fast side and you like the way that your thumb sits on that carpet material, just stay there. It's fine. Yeah, it's, all right. it's okay, people. I mean, I I'm with them. I think it's dumb, but hey, if they <laughs> like it, then whatever. They make two sides of the bag for a reason, Jake. You can choose whichever one you want. But what's the point? Just <laughs> what do you throw, what's the point? throw a faster bag. Why? He is throwing a fast bag. Well, then you have two different options for fast. What if you need to throw something faster than the slick side? Why would you need to throw anything? Everything's in the hole right now. Have you seen this guy play? He's lights out. I mean, yeah, but still. So you're saying if it ain't broke, fix it anyway? Whatever. <laughs> Poor Jake. He's just mad because he's never beat me. I'm just mad. What? I'm just mad about the stupid camera. <laughs> Uh-oh. Pat has three bags hung up on that right side. Oh, Steve cannot take advantage. This is could we see a big four bag drag coming he's from got past that sticky him? side down. That's he's why going he's going sticky. No. Now Schrader can go in for six. And he does sneak in there. Good bag. Yeah, that's that left or right cut that he was looking for earlier in the match. Missed too far and took him off the board that time. Good adjustment, using the bumpers, goes in. Another lead change, 13-11 now. College Station, Bully Baggers checking in. Go, Steve, go. And I read that in my Packers voice. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> go, back, go. When's the draft? Are we coming up on the draft? Is it April? April something, yeah, I don't know. Sheesh. Pat is in to tie the game. Another close back and forth match here. Do a little PPR check after this round. Trader steps all the way out to the edge of the tape. Gonna try to go around it. 
That's not bad either. Good back block. Yeah, he was actually trying to put that one there. You can tell because yeah. if he, he turns that back over and goes slick side, then he's trying to sneak around. Yep. Winter tie, uh -oh. very hole friendly bag. Now Steve going to try to push through the pile. Nicely done. That's, yeah, that's not bad at all. Pat goes Ooh. hard at it. Nothing really moves. I don't like the aggressiveness there from Pat. I think a block in that situation to kind of force Steve to do something crazy. Now he actually freed it up. Yeah. I mean, we could also see a potential bar of soap action. See that red bag up on top of the pile. Let's see what he does. He is going hard at it. Misses right and everything falls in. Yeah, there's the domino effect that we were worried about. Pat slides in for a 10 and is very thankful to escape the round with a wash. Ooh. Almost stole two. Bag after hole after bag. Bag in the hole after bag in the hole on this round. Again, next up here in the live feeds, we're going to switch over to the juniors division where Gabriel Clausen is going to take on Navarro Dip for the junior king seat. Wow. How about those two? You got uh, Ryan Trader, Mason yeah. Trader, Jackson Gore, Jake Gore, and ultimately Gabriel Clausen and Navarro Dip make their way to the king seat match. Jacob Gore taking on Ryan Trader now on court 69. What up, Maureen? Welcome in. Appreciate all the love and support Maureen has shown me over the last uh, few weeks. Maureen's awesome. Love her. What I don't love is the blurriness of this camera. If you squint your eyes to the point where you can barely see, you hardly notice it. Yeah. Like this. Like, see... Oh, perfect! Yeah, yeah. Right, that's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna do. Steve almost sneaks around it and hangs on the back lip. Why isn't this camera switching every time on TikTok? Huh? It's like only switching randomly. It's not switching every time. I mean, I'm I'm hitting it almost every time. Maybe you were both hitting it. That would be awkward. I haven't touched it. No. Oh. What is the age to be a senior player? It is 55 and over. Path misses right. Schrader misses off and gives up one. Wow. Yeah, Pat feeling very fortunate there to get a point out of it. Schrader disappointed in himself, missing that one. I think it's only when you go down this way. Huh. Hey, look, the camera's not blurry. Not this time. It'll be perfect. The rest of the day. Wow, nice. nice bag there. Lands on top. Where's your replay go? I'm good. There you go. No. Not too late. What does Schrader do? He elects to stay skinny. Give that bag up, and he still misses left. Yeah, I just overthought it. Let's take a look at that shot again here from Steve. Kind of went up top for the airmail. Ends up roading it in. But again, at the end of the round, Pat 
Get more points. 18-13. Dave checking us says, looking forward to the Junior's King Seat Battle. Get a chance to get a close look on Navarro Dip. He will be playing later today for the uh, team's events. Yep. Ryan Schrader finishes off at Jacob Gore, 21 to 12. Wow. Pat Sem, three points away. Schrader cannot afford another miss. His bag has to be in. And it is. It's only going to be two. Pat Sem up to 20. And then Jackson Gore finishes off Josh Quinn. So Jackson Gore will now take on Ryan Trader. Okay, maybe in uh, Trader get the clean Gore sweep. Pat off to the right. Steve going to try to push this out of the way. Good back block. Yep, stayed sticky. He wanted that replaced. This round is playing exactly how he wants it to so far. He's got an angry look on his face. Nice ah, backside airmail from Sim. Slick side down, trying to collect now. Too oh, far to the right. Yeah, it doesn't move. And now if you're Pat, I think you lay up here, which he does, and now Schrader has to get a bag in the hole. Pretty simple. He's going to take a timeout. Look at it. Yeah, I think in this situation here, there's a step out lane. Worst case scenario, you'll be able to sneak around and you just miss the collect, but you got to at least have one bag in. The airmail there is available also. Steve has a very good airmail. Step out lane, though, could get him too. I don't think he's going to drag it on the airmail. He is stepping out. See what he likes to do. He's stepping out, staying sticky. He or slick side, sorry. Hits. He gets one to fall. Yeah, I think that's a situation right there where if he misses a little bit more to the left, the bag in hand goes, but the one in front stays there. Yep. Gets just enough of the clip to get that one to fall. I would like a block here from Pat, but no, you don't need to. Just run bags. I want. I want to force Steve to shoot an airmail at some point. Either on bag number three or bag number four, I want Pat to fire off a blocker. We're not going to get it though. We're going to get a social instead, Jake. Cheers, buddy. To a wonderful, wonderful weekend. It's going to be a fun one. That's for sure. I hope I make it till uh, teams events today because my eyes are getting kind of heavy already. What? Need some caffeine there, bud. I definitely do. I didn't get a chance to get my coffee like you did. Yeah, the TikTok cam's just not switching. I didn't press a button. Oh. oh. I have to, you have you said you wanted to do it. You have a button over there now. No, I have a button to fix it, and that's just push it all the time. Got to be in one more time, and it is back-to-back -back socials. Let's go. More reasons to celebrate, chat. If you guys are enjoying the content this weekend, make sure you show some love to Bust You Up Cornhole. Check them out and use discount code WBA for 15% off. BustYouUpCornhole.com. Check it out. Bag off to that right side. Out of play for Pat. That's motivated me to turn my hat backwards, man. Schrader picks up two, 20 to 15, starting the climb.
Uh oh. That one might be too far to the left. Yeah, he's gonna have to go after it for sure. Great boy. Wow. Perfect. Steve's gonna step out and see if he can get a corner of it. Kind of wants to ride this up to the red zone. Hits it too clean. And now Pat's pretty much just looking in for the win on these final two bags. Yep. Trader can do nothing but go in. And no, we now a doesn't even need to throw it, yep. but he does anyway. Finishes off another four bagger. Pat's them. Your number one seed advances. And just like that, we have ourselves a king seat match. Pat Sim will take on Lee Tibbs. But first, Gabriel Clausen, Navarro Dip, Junior's king seat match when we come back. Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen, here in the Highland Sports Center in Tridelphia, West Virginia. We brought you a couple of seniors matches. It is time to switch gears over to the juniors. This is the king seat match for junior singles. On your left, out of Connecticut, it is Navarro Dip. 
And on your right out of Virginia, it is Gabriel Clausen. This is going to be a really interesting match. I want to get you guys' input on who you think is going to win this one. Trey Ryder's in the chat saying yeet. So is Alicia. What's up, Alicia? Let's get this going. That was the first live round of the game. Not only that, but I have fixed the camera, so it should not be blurry anymore. Looks great on my end. A 1-0 lead for Navarro Dip. I had a chance to play with Navarro in the uh, team's event at the World Championships, the eight-man team. He's a great kid. Wow, nice roll over there. Gabriel misses left. Let's see if Navarro goes roll again. No, I would have liked an airmail there. Instead, it sits on the board. We're still looking at an eight on three. Wow, nice roll from Gabriel Clausen to limit the damage to two. Welcome in, whether you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, or ACL Cornhole TV. We appreciate you guys watching here in Tridelphia, West Virginia, about an hour outside of Pittsburgh. Beautiful area. Gabriel going to step out. Nice job going around it to pick up a couple of points. That was an underrated shot. Stepping out, kind of just flopping over it. He gets himself on the board. Make it 3-2. What is the schedule for tomorrow evening? Tomorrow is doubles all day. Rounder starts at 9 a.m. local time, Eastern time. We'll run that till the rounders are over. Brackets will start immediately after. Clawson goes up for the airmail. Super aggressive. Misses it off the back, and Navarro cannot take advantage. Could have been five, only gets three. When will we see Jeremiah Ellis again? Never. Not on my broadcast court. Psych, he's just not here yet. We will definitely get him on the court this weekend. Nice rollover for Gabriel. Such a high-paced game. I, I can't get any words out. That is a... Somebody has a bag on the floor, but they're both throwing orange carpet bags. That's a three spot. Welcome back in. What up, man? Wally Castor. I got oh, good. Six five. Wow. I got good news. Is the camera working? The camera is no longer Let's blurry, go. baby. Let me ask you a question, man. Have you ever waited in line to get some food and drinks and then realized you don't have your wallet on you? All the time. But then I realized that <laughs> Apple Pay is a thing. Dude, and I can just use my phone to pay for it. I just learned how to turn off my uh, sleep time for Apple yesterday. Oh, nice wow. Shot. What a push. Navarro gives up two. We have a lead change. Let's take a look at that one with Mo again. I think it came in like a rocket. Huge push. Right on the money. They'll guess the collect. Nicely done there from Gabriel. So you don't have an Apple Pay set up on your phone yet, Wally, huh? Heck no. It's terrorists out there, man. Oh, my God. I'm trying to get my money. All $14 worth. What's up, Parker? Alicia says the gang's all here. Oh, man. Trey's in the chat yeeting like crazy, I see. So I don't know I don't know if you were able to watch the stream in Mesa a lot, but I um, know. Uh, Corey and I did this thing after one stream where we stayed live on TikTok mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and played a couple games and nice. for the TikTok crowd it was a lot of fun. So if you ever want to do that, you want to get the smoke oh live man. on TikTok after we're done a stream, you let me know. I'm down. I'll be your Huckleberry. I will be your Huckleberry. Quote of the day. 
Where are we going to get this uh, TikTok camera thing figured out, though? I don't know what's going on with the TikTok cam. I'm not switching. Gabriel goes block. Here we go. Navarro goes slick side. Why wouldn't he shoot that? Questionable call from Navarro. Dip gives up three. I don't know how either one of these youngsters are playing in crocs and slides on turf with oh, those dude, no. pellets. I, f I forgot to... Um, I forgot to change my shoes before heading out to the venue, so I had to set up yesterday in Crocs. Mm -hmm. It was an awful experience, to say the least. To say the least. I know we say it all the time, and I actually want to have an official on the court to clock the junior's pace of play just so we can have a statistic next to how fast they throw. Right. It's got to be under two seconds on average. It is quick. That's two more for Gabriel Clausen. Justin Duke wants to know if you have any dad jokes. I got a lot of dad jokes. But I will hold them. Ah. I don't know if I have the energy for dad jokes today, man. Oh, come on, man. It's, uh, Go it's find yourself a Red Bull. It's a four-hour sleep kind of day. Who's going to be broadcasting in Brighton, Michigan, open number two? 12. Ya boy. Ya boy. And you're the boy. Oh, yeah. Hard tilt on that one. No, a little too hard. The ability to throw that fast, make the decisions that fast. It's like a lot of the youth are lacking common sense, but they have great cornhole knowledge. Facts. It's crazy. 16-6 lead for Gabriel Clausen, starting to run away with things. I'll tell you, have you seen the uh, Generation Challenges? That's been popping up on my TikTok lately. It's what? Like generation Challenges, where it's like, all right, show me what it looks like when you take a picture. And then, like, people in my generation, they do this. Like, this is how you take a picture. Oh, yeah. And yeah, then, I've like, all that. the youngsters, they hold, like, their cell phone, and dialing on a rotary phone. All right, man. Let's do a little PPR check. Round number 12, getting ready to start 18-6. to six. This one's about over already. 9-8-2 for Gabriel Clausen and 8-7-3 for Navarro Dip. The other match going on right now in the juniors division is getting started. Ryan Trader against Jackson Gore. What is Gabe throwing? I believe they may. I think they're th both throwing creatures. Both wearing creatures jerseys. Cornhole Coastal. Is that going to be two? Yep, Navarro's going to pick up a couple of points. Women's queen seat match is already underway. Sarah Cassidy taking on Connie Altice. Next up will be the seniors king seat match. Lee Tibbs making his way back to the court to take on Pat Sim. So the women's bracket, we kind of joked around about it, maybe them finishing after the seniors, but it looks like they're caught, they're catching back up now. So Seniors will probably finish last again. Eighteen to eight. There we go. I'll allow it. Ted coming in with a dad joke. Where does a boat go when it gets sick? To the dock. Where's Jake? I'm right here, Dave Smith. I'm right here. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, child. Oh, your mic is muted. That's why. No, no, no. it's not. No. I was just kidding. Wally, are you going to commentate Alberta? Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to New Mexico. What? Back block. Airmail time? Oh, for sure. Three bag drag. No, he's going slick side. He's going to try to split the pile. Interesting tactic. Getting... Knocks off one, gets one to go. 
Is that his bag in front? Yeah, I would have liked an airmail. You had both of his bags were in front. You drag that. I don't. Hey, like I don't it, know. He threw that hard like he was going for like a bar of soap or something. That's why I was kind of confused yeah, as to know. which is which. Dude, <laughs> Will we keep pressing it. <laughs> I don't know. I was pushing. I was fixing it, and then <laughs> I think we just kept hitting it at the same time. We got it figured out. <laughs> Alberta, Mexico. Yep. Yeah. Now, as far as I know, I'll be at all the ACL Opens for the remaining part of the uh, season as well as the um, Pro Events. Round limited and non-round limited format coming up. Are we less than a month away? For those of you, got, for those of you that turned into uh, Myrtle Beach, let me know. Did you guys like the uh, hold zone that we did? Should we bring back the hold zone for the Pro Events coming up? The old two-court setup with myself directing and chiming in every now and then. It's crazy Jackson Gore is like a normal size human being now. Normal, so he's tall. That's what I'm saying, dude. It's like, <laughs> like I, I, I remember him not being <laughs> that big. Right? It's like Baby Goat was always small, and now he's like, he's starting to sprout as well. <laughs> yeah, right. It's crazy. Good round here, 20 to 9. All bags down the middle and in. Gabriel Gotta be keeping in. the pressure on. Navarro up for the challenge. Social, let's go. Christopher Hall Jr. says he loved the two-court idea. He wants us to bring it back. I got to come up with an intro if we're going to actually, if we're going to do it, I think we need to have, have an official name for it. This could be it. Yeah, he's got to do is get one bag in here. Nice got collect. Him. And now a bag on the board, no matter what Navarro does, is going to do it. He's going aggressive. And he throws it off the back. Why, Why does he do that? On the board for the win. And now Navarro can collect it, but he does Stops a little bit short. Crazy Gabriel finish. Gabriel gets lucky. And he's still able to take the dub. Wow. <laughs> Bad decision making. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Pays off. He gets the dub. And just like that, we have ourselves our first king seat. Gabriel Clausen takes it down. We're going to head over to the seniors division. See who gets that king seat. Pat Sim, Lee Tibbs, when we come back.
All, All right, well, <laughs> welcome back. What are you doing talking? Dude, you haven't brought us back once. I know. That's why I thought it was my turn. No, you don't get a turn. What the heck? You're fired. <laughs> get out of here. All right, go ahead. All right, All right welcome, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back in, everybody. Tridelphia, West Virginia. We're switching gears again back over to the senior side. It is the king seat match for senior singles. Pat Sem versus uh, Leonardo Tibbs. I don't know if that's his actual first name, but that's what I'm going with. Which one was Leonardo? The sword? What? All right. We sure. Desi designated scorekeeper. I love it. I love it. it. Welcome to the seniors division, everybody. What? You got it. <laughs> I guess he doesn't want to do it. <laughs> oh, this is just chaos. Anyway, let's go back to the chat. All right, Maureen says, the whole zone was epic. So much coverage. She loved it. Chris liked the setup that we had there as well. Uh, will there still be four broadcast courts or for the Pro Events? Y'all only doing two. I think we're just going to do two this year. Yeah, we want to make sure that we nail it rather than try and add yeah. too much. It, it, our, our thought process was it's better to have two really good live stream courts than four meh, okay live stream courts. So we're gonna we're gonna move it down to two, but they're gonna be high quality. We're gonna have great, great people there, and Chase Hunter will be there too. These guys are adamant about not keeping score. They right. don't want to do it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you guys have already gone through all four of your timeouts this game. <laughs> I'm turn the board mics up. See if we can hear them. We got a professional coming over. There we go. <laughs> we got a professional coming over, they say. Dude, they were on cloud nine when we had no internet yeah. earlier. They are like, we don't oh, have man. to we keep it, dude. All we got to go. do is tap the tablet. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Let us know who you got in the chat. We got Maryland versus North Carolina. I know who I'm rooting for. Cheyenne Bubenheim in the chat wants to see some women get played. I believe we will uh, have this seniors king seat match. We were going to do women's queen seat. They already started, though. Sarah Cassidy takes down the queen seat. Once we get done here, I believe juniors championship match should be set. Navarro Dip taking on Jackson Gore right now. Winner of that one gets Gabriel Clausen. Then after that, we are switching back over to women's. Yeah, fresh reminder for everybody. If at any point in the chat you have a problem with the matches that you were seeing on here, it is all Wally. Oh, yeah. All Wally. Wally has picked every match so far. So if you don't like it, hashtag blame Wally. And nobody's typing in that, so it looks like uh, that failed. In your face. Ooh, we got a new feature going on. Now, if you're in the YouTube chat, there is a poll on who is going to win this match. So if you want to vote... On who's going to win this match, go into YouTube. Lee Tibbs, Pat Sem. Currently 62% of y'all, 67% saying Pat. The votes keep going up. That young kid's going to learn really hard not to lean on that to A-frame. <laughs> yeah. All right, bag has been spun. Here we go. Senior singles winners final. Pat Sem on your left, Lee Tibbs on your right. Here we go. Sticky side down, pretty much guarantees he's going to airmail and hits that clean. Even with that front part of the hole taken away, he goes over the top of it, and then a nice collect there from Lee Tibbs. Says, all right, if you're not going to leave it in front there for me, I'll just go ahead and take everything. I can almost guarantee you Lee's going to go after that bag. Well, maybe not now. Doesn't need to. Slick side down. Uses the bumper. Redirect just pretty, like that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Great round there for Lee Tibbs. <laughs> and again, shout out to our designated scorekeeper. Let's take a look at this replay one more time. Lee able to drive through everything. Even comes across the board a little bit to get it. Two points on the board. We're underway. Oh, Pat 
has a little bit of a lane. Oh, he missed right, kind of bar up soaps himself. Lee, I don't know if he's trying to airmail that, but he missed way right. I think it was Lee's bag that he took on the back. Yeah, it is. So Pat's in good position here to get a couple nice out of shot. it. shot. This is to tie the game at two. Count it. Dos, dos. Ah, now I understand. You know, I don't like to brag a lot, but I am, you know, kind of bilingual. Como, como te llamas? I do like llamas. Thank you for asking. I'm going to be hanging out with Lee a lot next weekend. There's a really big uh, two-day, three-day tournament in Ocean City, Maryland. Hotel, a uh, ballroom of a hotel. Be a fun weekend. You book a room in the hotel and you walk across the hall to the ballroom and do nothing but play cornhole for three straight days. It's going to be a lot of fun. And there will be a lot of liquids flowing. So if Lee Tibbs takes down senior singles, I'll have to buy him a drink. You notice on the wardrobe side of things, you got cargo shorts versus cargo pants. Uh-oh. Oh, oh nice backside. Ooh. I'm sorry. Pat is just locked in, and Lee's bushes are locked in. Now, I don't believe Lee is a pro, correct? No, he is not. He's. A, I, I don't even know if he's an elite player. I, say, I feel like he's just now starting to yeah. travel and get on the radar, but, I mean, he is definitely skilled enough to become a pro. You know, I don't think I've ever lost to Lee Tibbs in singles. I think mean, I'm like 2 or 3-0 and oh against him. Yeah, same record against you. No. Hey, remember when we beat Sean and Dane? Yeah. That was fun. Shout out Big Asp. Pat is in with a four-bagger. Gets four. And that will get rid of the tie. 6-2 lead. For Pat Sem. Let's take it through some. Let's take it through the rest of the bracket here. Andy Noyes getting ready to play Donald Brill Jr. Steve Schrader getting ready to play Damon Dennis. The winner of those two matches will play each other, and the winner of that will play the loser of this. So there's six remaining in seniors. Sarah Cassidy made quick work of Connie Altai, 21 10. So she is in the queen seat. Kaylee Hunter playing Maya Cup. The winner of that will play either Peyton Haynes, Deb Odom, or Kimberly Jenkins. So, actually, seniors is further ahead than women's right now. That's what I'm saying. Is it going to happen, man? Is it? And then is today the day? And then Jack Gore getting ready to play Navarro Dip. The winner of that will try to double dip Gabriel Clausen. Irvin Thomas wants to know what my record is against Mike Hoffman. And Irvin Thomas is going to get blocked in the Facebook chat. Back on surprise at that one. Looks like it took off on him. Whoa. Whoa. Same with Lee. This round's getting crazy. There oh, man. man, these dudes stink. <laughs> <laughs> five on two? No, two on. No, it is five on two. You're right. Oh, man. Now, now I have no idea. No, it'll you. end seven on four. <laughs> even, the, even the score score guy's like, I don't even know what it is. Seven on four, yep. <laughs> I was like, I'm not touching that one. This is This is what I expect the tablet management to be from the senior group. Minor league teams will be on the broadcast tonight, so schedule for the rest of the day. We'll finish up women's juniors and seniors. We'll take a little bit of a break, then we'll come back around, is it 5 o'clock? Do you know? For pro teams. 
couple of pro teams matches. And then after that, we'll take another little bit of a break, and then we'll come back for the bracket of minor league teams. I'll tell you what, man, that, those, uh, I, I know you went and got food without asking if I wanted any food and stuff, so it's cool, but out there in the lobby, they got, like, these calzones, and they look ridiculously good. I will not eat this sandwich if you go get me a calzone. I was over there, like, talking to Rich for a second, and he ordered one. I was like, man, I kind of want one. He's like, do you want one? I'm like, no, I got to get my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my wallet. But you know what I'm up. telling you, you set up Apple Pay on your phone, man. It's it's the easiest thing ever. I don't know. The only thing, the only thing that, the only like major place you can't Apple Pay is Walmart, and I learned that the hard way. I drove 15 minutes out to a Walmart one day, realized I didn't have my wallet. But then, the, can I set up with multiple cards? Yeah, you can put as many cards on there as you want. I have my debit card, my credit card, um, a couple other things too. But yeah, it's super easy. Another four bagger for Pat Sem. He is locked in right now. We will give you a PPR update after the conclusion of this round. Lee go off again. He did. Oh, man. Let's see what Pat wants to do here. Just go through it. Or go around it. Beautiful reverse cut from Pat Sem. And it ends up working in his favor. That's a seven. Wow. This game has turned on its head. And he hands him his bags politely with a smile. Neat stack. Pat Sem rocking a 10-3. Lee Tibbs with an 8-6. Pat Sem uh, killing him with kindness. Fits right in the seniors division, doesn't he? Oh, dude, he's, he's one of the nicest. I've never met, like, a mean senior player. Right. Which is weird because they have the stereotype for yelling at you to get off the lawn. Right. Oh, backside airmail. I mean, there's. I mean, there's nothing Lee can do. I mean, that's it. He's not missing. Yes, yeah, this, this is. He's got to do something crazy here. Had to do a penguin bar of soap. Yep. That's not gonna happen. Wow. And just like that, out of nowhere, Pat Sem absolutely runs away with this one, and is into the king seat of seniors. How about that, Wally? Dunzo. All right. Well. Let's take a quick commercial break. When we come back, do we know what is next? Yeah, we're going to switch over to the juniors thing. I think uh, we'll take a peek at that, see how far along they are in that match. I see Jackson and Navarro looks like they're still throwing. So we'll kind of take a look at the brackets and see where we're at. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back in just a little bit.
All right, welcome back in, everybody. We apologize for that extended commercial break. We were waiting for a match to become available, and it has been, and a really good one. It is the junior singles final. Gabriel Clausen comes into this match in the king seat, will need to be double dipped. And the man who is going, the kid who is going to try to do it will be Jack Gore. A pro versus an amateur. Who's going to have the edge? Welcome in, everybody. Let us know who you got in the comments section. North Carolina versus Virginia. Let's see what Jack does here. I like a roll. Now he's going to go up short. Got a lot of Jackson fans in the chat. A couple Gabe fans as well. Crocs versus Crocs, baby. BG Wizard Elves versus Cornhole Coastal Creatures. Lawson steps out, slick side, way off to the right, knocks in Jack's bag. Good back block from Jack here. Gabriel rolls. Jack with a slick side bounces up over the hole. Gabriel can go in to limit it to one, and he will. What up, what up? I'm back. Hey. How's it going? How you doing? It's all right. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing good. Bada bing, bada boom. Got my pizza over here, my calzone. Realest guy in the room. All right. Who are you rooting for in this match, Wally? I don't root for anyone named anything other than Jackson. And I say, I say you don't root for anyone, but uh, one of these players happens to be sponsored by you. Well, you know, I find nothing but the best in the wow. world. Wow. Jackson has been on Faisha. That was an underrated bag by Gabriel to grab that orange creature on the right side. And now slick side in for a social count. Nicely it. done. I mean, do you have to think coming into this that Jack is the favorite to double dip him? But I'll tell you right now, Gabriel's not going to go down without a fight. Yes, yeah, so a typical K-9 fashion. More than likely, we're going to game two at some point this weekend. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at uh, how these two kids got here. Let's see, Gabriel Clausen came into this as the five seed. Started out beating Cameron Granger, 21-3. Then Chase Frieden, 21-17. Then Josh Quinn, 21-15. Then he took down Ryan Trader, 21-20. Finish it up in the king seat by taking down Navarro Dip 21 to 9. Jack Gore came in as the number six seed. Started off the day by beating Cash Shamness 21 6. Then Zach Aiken 21 6. Then he beat his own brother, Jake Gore 21 7, before ultimately falling to Navarro Dip 21 13. And then in that loser's bracket, Josh, uh, Jack beat Josh Quinn, 21-14. He beat Ryan Trader, 21-11, to eliminate him. And then he got the revenge on Navarro Dip, beating him 21-10 to make it back here. Can I see in one attempt? Going up. Oh, he knocks off his bag but sits on the back lip. <laughs> He's a good try. Got a piece of it. He didn't get the rest of it to go. It's a good roll here from Jackson. Like that little nice. lean back. Oh, yeah. Lean back. All right, women's bracket update in the queen seat. Sarah Cassidy, County Altai on the loser side. Peyton Haynes, Maya Cup waiting for the other side to catch up. Deb Odom taking on Kimberly Jenkins. So Odom and Jenkins, winner plays Haynes, then Cup, then Altai, and then Sarah Cassidy. Seniors division, again, only a few players left in that one. Damon Dennis fighting his way back, taking on Steve Schrader, trying to get that revenge. Noyes, Lee Tibbs, and then Pat Sim. Hard Hard in the pile. I'm going to bar a sway off to the right. 
Worst case scenario, this is in for three. No, he misses left and only gets one. Are you like him to stay mm. the sticky side there? No, I would have liked slick side, personally. Personally? Personally, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Gotta go slick side, see? KB in the chat, what up, brother? Kaheem Butler. 6-3 lead for Jack Gore. This is game one. So if Jack wins, we will have to do it again. If Gabriel can shut him down, it is over. Ooh, big time bar of soap attempt. Big time bar of soap going at it and kind of gets it. <laughs> That's the tubal ocean. Bring it on, I'm telling you. He's Make going up and he drags it. Big time shot from Gabriel Clausen. All right, let's take a look at the first one. Uh, let's see. I think I missed it. You got no, it. Now I'm confused. You got it. Oh, that was the roll shot. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll take a look at both three plays here in a second. Yep. There's a much easier way to do that. And let me teach you. Nope. Not okay. even close. All right. Clawson a little to the right. Jack hits a backside airmail. And you got the airmail, the bar of soap, and the push is working. Not to mention the roll he hit earlier. Ooh, I feel that like went off the back. Way to jinx him. I feel like we're going to game two. Yeah, On I, I did jinx one, a little bit, didn't I? In for three or off four zero. And now you jinxing. <laughs> now who's jinxing? Who's jinxing who? Let's take a look at the first shot here from Jack. Hard push in the pile, keeps everything planted. Gets that one to hit off the side of the hole. Nicely done. Way to get in there. And then this is the... Um, no, I, I rerun it way too far. I forgot I messed it up. The airmail drag will come up next after this round, assuming they don't have any awesome shots in this round. What up, Pat Pilger? Welcome in, my dude. Hope you're doing well back home, man. Got to get you back out to these opens. Hopefully you're going to Michigan. It's only an eight-hour drive for us. It's only an eight-hour drive for me, too. Here you go. How about that? Good collect there from Jackson. He's feeling it, man. It's a big Social. shot. Turns over and stares at me. He's like, come on. What are we doing? Let's just play 2020. Put it all in one line. Big shot right there from Gabriel early in the round. Eight to three on the scoreboard now. I mean, if you're Gabriel, are you intimidated at all playing a pro like Jack Gore in the finals? No, this is the moment I want. I'm looking forward to this type of matchup. In for a 10-10 wash. Patting in the back, teaching how to throw slick. What up, Port? What bags is Gabriel throwing? They, he is throwing the Cornhole Coastal Creatures. Missed Amor there. It stays on. Yeah, Jack Gore is the pro, Justin. That's correct. A little PPR check request from somebody in the TikTok chat. Jack Gore throwing a 9-9-2. And Gabriel Clausen throwing a 9-1-7. Gabriel, nice job going around. Doesn't really push it out of the way. But now you can if you hit this right. Jack going to go after it. Whoa, way off the back. And now Gabriel can go in for five and try to slip the momentum, and he does.
Jake, can you get the $20 Wally owes me from the last open? Yeah, you owe Chase $20. Who's Chase? Chase, um, Chase, uh, the other Chase. Chase Hunter. Wally's eating, so he gone. That does look like a banging calzone, though. I'm not even going to lie. That looks banging. Is it good? Looks good. Back block from Gabriel misses a little left. Oh, the roll by Jack rolls over. Gabriel going to go roll, and he misses right. Slick side down in that lane. Beautiful, but he takes Gabriel's bag and only picks up two. You wanted four on that round if you're Jack, but it's not the end of the world. Fourteen to eight lead. Reminder: If Jack wins this one, we will go to a game two. Travis Purser in the chat. What's up, Travis? Let's go, Jack. Ooh, nice collect. Four bagger for Jack. A ten for Gabe. 16 to 8. Yeah, you asked earlier if I was Gabriel, if I'd be intimidated by Jackson. Like I said, I want these. This is the matchup that I want. But you can't tell me you're not feeling the pressure, though. Oh, for sure. Being down. Well, you got to think if you're Gabriel, what do you do to stop him? I mean, you can't roll. I mean, I mean, sorry, you can't block because Jack's rolled so good. I mean, Running. I think that's what got you here. You stay there, have faith in yourself, believe that you got yourself here. I mean, did they play each other earlier? Wow, beautiful bag from Gabe to pick up four. They did not play each other earlier. Okay, so yeah, so Jake and Jack yeah. were on the other side. So just like that, Gabe, Gabe climbing back into this one. It's a four-point game. Yeah, yeah, you win in game one. You ain't gotta worry about that problem. Mm, yes, sir. I mean, that's the hardest one if you're sitting in the king seat, though. You had a long wait. Winning game one is significantly harder, in my opinion, than winning game two. Another leaked bag from Gabe. Jack can go in to put him on 18. Yes. Nice collect from Jack Owen right to left. Looking to pick up at least two more. Oh, no, we jinxed him. Gave it. Jack in with a 10 Gabe answers. You hit the hard shot, you miss the easy shot, and you end up with a wash. Nice push through from Gabe. Ooh, and now he can sneak around on that right side to pick up two more. Yes, Gabriel Clausen with a nice wrap around. Do a little, do a little wrap around. Watch this. Do a, do a, do a little wrap around. Shout out Jim Leahy. Oh, 
Oh, whoa, what was that? Wally, replay. I don't even know what happened. Big time bar of soap, that's what happened. Oh, and then he misses left. And Jack is going to steal two. So take a look at that. Let's take a look at this again. I'm, I'm kind of catching up on it as well, but huge shot into the pile. Gets one of his, to, or both of his to fall. Bag in hand on the back of the board. So, yeah, worth it. I'll take that trade all day. Jack with a block. Gabriel cannot afford a miss. Nice roll. Jack pushes through. Bag by Gabriel has to be in the hole, and it is. Back block miss from Gabriel. Nice roll from Jack. He is set up to win the game. If he can slick side cut, collect it. No, he takes in Gabriel. And now Gabe can roll over for a couple of points, which he does not. It sits on the back lip. Wow. Roll after roll, these two are hitting. It will stay 20 to 14. That's a question mark bag on the left for Gabriel. Perfect back block by Jack. Now he's going hard at the pot. Oh my God, what a collect from Jack Gore. And now if this bag is in, which it is, Gabriel has to collect this. He's going up, and he hits the airmail, but it does not drag. And that is going to do it for game one. Wow. Great shot after great shot. Take a look at this push. Unreal. Jack Gore takes down game one. All right, I'm back, chat. <laughs> TikTok is going crazy on me. With the camera, 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 camera. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tat. I am back now. Not sure why the buttons aren't working properly, but it be what it be. But I'm on it now. Nice job cutting around there from Gabriel. They're just getting right into it. Jackson takes away that lane. Jack Gore threw a perfect 10, not a perfect 10, but a 10 <laughs> <laughs> that game to Gabriel's 9 6 5. Let's see if Gabriel can roll over this. Nice. God, it's so pretty. What a roll from Gabe. I like the airmail here. He's stepping out, though. I'm going to push instead. No, that's in a, the wrong one. That's, that's a mistake. That's a 5. That's a 10 on 5 for Gabriel Clausen to start things off. Yeah, this might be a little rush. Let's take a look at it again. Jackson here had the airmail dragged. Elect to go for the push. Knocks in the wrong one. Big round there for Gabriel to start game number two. Yeah, it's been a trend down on this end. Gabriel leaking bags to the left side. He does it again. That, however, is grabbable. He's stepping out. Yep, slick side down. Should be relatively simple unless you miss right. Oh, he missed left. Jack can push in for four, which he does. And that will negate the five spot he gave up last round. It's a one-point game. Hey, what up, Nate Voyer? His eighth grade class watching from Stockton, California. Shout out Mr. Voyer's class. Don't worry, Diane. Women's is next. Women's is next. 
Uh-oh. Worst case scenario for Gabriel. Perfect lane for Jack. Yeah, Gabriel going to take his lumps and just go through it. Looking to give up four. Whoa! Jack kind of bar soaps himself again, but it's most likely going to be the same result. Yeah, a 10 on six. That was weird. Yeah, he's bummed it didn't fall, but again, same math no matter how you want to put it. He just, it 12, hurts. On, 12 and 8, 10 on six. It hurts his PPR. Yeah, but, and maybe the ego a little bit that the bag didn't fall. But I believe it was Benjamin Franklin that once said, hey, points is points. It all works out. Wow, nice collect there. Have I ever mentioned that I'm the best rock, paper, scissors player in the world? I don't know if I ever have. And because you're eating, you can't rebuttal me. So, yeah, fun fact, I am the best rock, paper, scissors player in the world. You go paper, huh, I'm going scissors. You go rock, huh, I'm going paper. I always go missile. Missile beats everything. Yeah? Because I can't bend my middle finger. <laughs> it's a missile. I appreciate it, Maureen. Thank you. Running the ACL is a lot of fun. When you're working with Trey and Mish and Anthony, it's always a lot of fun. Wow, nice air mail with the fist bump from Jack. See if Gabe goes up. He does, and he hits it as well. These two are throwing these bags right now. Way up there. Whoop, just wraps in. It will stay 10-5. Bag a little off to the left. Not the end of the world for Jack, especially when Gabriel brings it in. Social. Jay Case, you are my dog. Looks like they did go ahead and start that. Kimberly Jenkins and Peyton Haynes match on court. 60 died. So we're going to get the winner of that one to play Maya Cup next on the live feeds. All right. Nice wrap around from Jackson. Uh-oh, Gabriel leaks left. A cut again. No. In for a wash or off the back to give up two. Yeah, the right idea on that one. Just put a little bit too much behind it. Way too much. Expect a little bit more of a loft on that one. See Fisher Hamilton there holding his Ohio Aviators jersey. Him and Gavin Cano reunited to play together on the team's event later. I know Gavin is excited. So what are the team's matches this afternoon? Oh. <laughs> uh, Pennsylvania Ringers, I believe, Ohio Aviators. I think the Michigan Marauders are playing, too. Am I wrong? The Michigan Marauders. I assume it's – I think it goes by division. So if we can – if I look on the <laughs> – I play Cornell.com and go say, to the pro I say, I make the, tab. I make the schedule as a whole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever look at the individual matchups. So it will be the Ohio Aviators versus the Michigan Marauders and then the Pennsylvania Ringers versus the New England well, Woodchucks. That's, yeah, that's what it was. So it's the American North Division. Going at it. Nice push through from Jack. Gabriel going to try to collect it. No, he sits in front. Back block here from Jack is perfect. Or he rolls over. 
guaranteed two. And that's oh, what it'll wow. be. I was nice. going to say that looked like it hit the wrong gap. Did I hit replay? Oh, my bad. See, that's why I, that's why I would have liked a, a lay behind if I'm Jack. Mm -hmm. Force Gabriel into a much more difficult shot. But it's okay. He's still up 14 to 5. He doesn't really care right now. After a five spot to start the game, excuse me, in round one for Clawson, it has been 14 unanswered. Not the end of the world. Gabriel going slick side cut. Missed it off the back and gives up three more. You know, Gabriel's been playing very well, but some of the decision-making here in this game is costing him three, six points. You know what I mean? They're adding yeah. up. Jack is 100% listening to these boots are made for walking right now because that is what's happening in this game. Busting him up. I see what you're trying to say. Oh, got him. I feel like I'm watching myself, says Ethan Walker. Well, no, these kids are way better than you. Mm. Got him. Got him. Got him. So Gabriel's got to be proud, though. He's, he's rocking the bust you up shorts. He's got to be proud of his performance here today. Oh, yeah. Good push into the pile. Jack wants them all to go. I think they will. And I think, yeah, I smart, think smart from Gabriel. I, I think it's too dangerous, especially with you being down by so many. He's going to give up the bag and take a point. I would like to roll a toast. Are you crazy? Eh, I think he can pull it off. He's good. 19-5. Again, if you are just tuning in, this is game two. Jackson took down the first one, trying to finish it off right here. G Gabriel, nice clog. Yeah. Will it stay? Nope. He's perfectly fine with that on the board here just for the wash. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> that was, <laughs> was close. close. It looked high. It looked real high coming out of his hand. It does stay on the board, though, 19 to 5. Damon Dennis and Lee Tibbs squaring off next. Winner of that one gets Pat Sim. Keep an eye on the ladies' bracket. See how far Peyton Haynes and Kimberly Jenkins are in their match. Winner of that one gets Maya Cup. So this would be Jack Gore's second junior singles title of the season if he were to Where complete was his other this one? one. I don't remember, but I know he has two. He won in Bryan, Texas. Won juniors in Bryan, Texas? Pretty sure he'd be Jake and that's, that's what it would be. Well, I was going to see if he had one that you went to. I don't know. Where are you getting your info from? I look it up. That's going to do it right there. That's a four-bagger. That's it. We were talking about where he won his first one, but how about him winning his second one? Canine-sponsored player Jack oh, Gore no. takes down Junior Singles. How it, you feeling, it's, Wally? It's all them, man. They make me look good. Again, good run there for Clawson, though, man. I love seeing new faces make their way deep in brackets, but ultimately Jackson Gore takes that one down. I lied to you, Chet, and I apologize, but just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Damon Dennis versus Lee Tibbs next, right after this.
What is up, ACL Nation? Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, time for some seniors bracket. Loser final. Winner gets Pat Sim in the overall senior championship. Women's bracket continuing to truck right along. Peyton Haynes and Kimberly Jenkins still going on court 69. Winner of that one gets Maya Cup. I believe these bags are live. Yep. Was surprised Lee Tibbs showed up to the court super quick and early. They only did one down and back. They are ready to go. Lee Tibbs with an early bag off the board, however, and Damon looking to pick up some big points. Big time airmail coming. No. This is a difficult push, but if, he can, if Lee Tibbs can get it, he's going to wash out the round. Beautifully done. And TikTok is acting up, showing both cameras at once. Is it really? That was kind of cool, actually. That's one way for me to never have to f fix it. Yeah, go. right. Let us know who you got in the chat. Look, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's been a little bit since Damon Dennis has won a senior singles event at an open. Maybe he can get back into form right before the pro season. Nice push around from Damon. Lee collects them all. Oh, we'll see if Lee can get sneaky here. Maybe pick up four. No, it'll only be two. 2-0 start for Mr. Tibbs. So, Wally, when do we need to make our predictions for our bet this weekend? Well, we haven't even announced that we have a bet yet. Oh, yeah. When are we doing that? So, I think... Uh during doubles tomorrow, I'll make an announcement of what right. the bet is. Ooh. Try and make some things happen for pro event number one. And then, yeah, at that point, you just have to cross your fingers, man, because I already know. I have read the script. Who's going to win this weekend? Really? I'll get uh -huh. uh, where? Why can't I get the script? Mm, you're still kind of new. You're not old enough yet. I got it in Hamilton, Ohio. Maybe. <laughs> Oh, nice backside airmail. That's Damon Dennis for you. Ties the game at two. Always has had a high airmail, and for reasons like this, able to go backside, follows it in with his eyes, hits the ACL part of the red zone and drips in. Nicely done there for double D. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I, I, I'll be honest. I was, I was looking back and watching some old videos. I watched an old live stream before we had uh, the ACL red zone. And so it was just like a basic hole. Man, the board looked like it was naked. It was so weird. So I'm really loving the addition of the ACL red zone. Yeah, I went back to my Photoshop paint days. and <laughs> Not like what you guys saw at Worlds. That was high-class stuff at Worlds. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my scoreboards and stuff that I used to make with yeah. the graphics. I'm right? like, man. Good God. I used to put the tripods on the stage and raise them up so it really looked like the players were like leaning in. I was like, oh, <laughs> how did I how did I tolerate this type of stuff back in the day? Social. Let's do it. There's the Don. New ACL Pro Donald Cup. How about that? Promoted. Just got promoted. Back in it. Oh nice. Airmail. He does it again. Double D's airmail is just. I think the oh, problem. Man. I think the problem for Lee Slow is going to be the pace of uh, pace of play. Yeah, Lee likes to fire him. He likes to fire him, and I think Damon knows that too. So he looks like he's maybe taking an extra second or two between each throw. 
I mean, the other thing, too, is Damon might just be trying to get locked in. This is a loser's yeah. bracket match. You got no choice. You have to be on your A game just to get back to Pat Sim. Oh, no, that one lands short. Four spot for Damon Dennis. So, you know, one of my biggest pet peeves in Cornwall, I notice that Lee does, no matter what happens in the round, he could score six, he could give up six. He fist bumps after every single round. An and that is one of my biggest pet peeves. He's an over knuckler. We don't he's an over knuckler. We don't need to we don't like I'll give you we go twelve twelve or you hit a good shot, I'll give you a fist bump, but I'm not fist bumping you every single round. Yeah, it's very unfortunate that I have this information before we play later on. What are we playing? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll just ignore you. I, won't, I just won't fist bump you back. Sit and go time. Let's go. All right, taking a break, y'all. All right, see you guys later. I'm already over here missing all these TikTok transitions anyway, so. Yeah, they are mad at you. This is actually the worst viewership I've seen on TikTok in a while. <laughs> I, mean, I don't blame them. This is in to give up two more, and he gets it. He was looking back. He was going to give him a knuckles, but Damon had to go put the score in first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Does, does he like make up for the knuckles on this end, though? I think he gives two knuckles. Yeah, he goes boom, and then he boom again. The dub knock? No, no knuckles. No, he did not. He's mad now. Serious time. What up, Cat Halbert? Rut row. <laughs> mad at you, Cat. Uh-oh, what are you mad at her about? <laughs> if, she, if she had anything to do with that 9 o'clock setup. Yeah, right? This is your fault. <laughs> I've, I've like been dying to get back on the microphone. I hop back on the microphone. Zero energy. No. <laughs> really looking forward to that sleep-in time oh, tomorrow. Oh, dude, I cannot wait. I might go live early for rounders. I might do my thing. Do your, do your old school thing, huh? Yeah, I haven't been live on K9 for rounders in a minute, man. Get in there. Man, Social. Oh boy, cheers. There's fist bump. Cheers, everybody. Donald. Oh, man. I could, I could almost I could almost watch Donald watch Cornhole. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> More than I could watch the match. Like, if I had one channel of just watching Donald watch Cornhole, I'd, I'd be down to do it. Trying to look around, see if I see Pat Sim anywhere warming up. I don't know. Uh, oh, that's two more for Damon Dennis. There he is. Check him out. Who? Donald Cup. On the on the on the stream. Thoroughly enjoying this match of cornhole. <laughs> Ten two lead for Damon Dennis. We've seen Lee on our court already today. Down big. He was able to work his way all the way back against Andy Noyes. Took it down. Yeah, very similar situation to where we're at right now. And here it comes. Could be the first two points started in this comeback. Now, was Lee throwing the alien bags in Tiverton when he won as well? He was not. He was throwing Viper R's. So his first chance for really get to take a look at these alien bags. Oh, whoops. Uh, Donald Cup again. 10-3 now. Or I guess it's still 10-3. Never mind. Duh.
Yeah, Lee's also a type of guy who will talk your ear off during a match. Damon's done a very good job of keeping him quiet. Let's say Damon will actually probably talk back to him and be like, all right, now, you're talking about a little bit too much. Yeah. That will get Lee Tibbs back in the score column, 10-5. And Damon doesn't know how to use the scoreboard. There you go. <laughs> it's like could be worse. Could have Lee do it. Did Robbie Davis play seniors today? He did, yes. He go. He go. <laughs> Down on the final three now. The only one left is Pat Sim. Oh, there he is over there warming up around the bar area. Did you show the uh, bar stuff? I have not. I was getting ready to say it's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, we're yeah. on. We're playing on a football field, but right at the midfield logo, 50-yard line, we have a full-service bar. We were actually talking about setting up there yesterday, and uh, it's probably a good thing we didn't start setting up there because right, looks like they had plans. That alien bag is going to fall. It may still be moving. Oh, I think it stopped. We into the pile. Ooh, there, it goes, there, there it goes. There it goes. And now Damon has a wide open lane. You, he could do this with his eyes closed to what? take two back. He's going to keep him open. Oh, oh no. <laughs> and there goes Lee. <laughs> he should get you talking about you that. need to clip that we one. We talking about the 40-yard 40 <laughs> 40 times yeah, right? earlier. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, I guess Lee likes giving up 10-point leads and then just coming back. 10-9 yeah. to nine now. 10-9. <clears throat> and then that happens. First bag on the back of the hole, Way out of play. To, way to jinx him. I mean, can we see the double D do it again? Stop it. I I bet he doesn't even think about it. No, he doesn't. But where's Philip Hayden at the other end? Want me to try and knock that off or not? you got to do something. Got to do something. Well, I'm pretty good. <laughs> that's I, I know that's not what he said. Oh man! But just, that's like what I heard in my yeah, head. Yeah. I'm pretty good. <laughs> and then he hits it. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, Lee tried to grab it, knocks it off himself. Now he can't do it. But if Damon can get sneaky here, we are looking at an eight spot. I don't know if he can do it. Don't you ever doubt Double D. He's all the way out on, on the imaginary mat. <laughs> <laughs> it's invisible. It's invisible mat. High release point. Catches it. Oh, it goes in. It's moving. Did it stop? I think it's still moving, but I could be just staring at it. Oh, my God. He did that. Come on. <laughs> what that a is bag. Unbelievable. Wow, that was incredible from Damon Dennis. And just like that, we were talking about the comeback from Lee. It's 18-9. to 9. I can't believe he went around it. I almost hit replay there, but it's really nothing. Like, you can't replay a bag not falling. Like yeah. <laughs> it's just incredible that the bag didn't go, the high release wow. point. And then Lee throws that first bag off the bag, went super aggressive. Yeah, with uh, Damon sitting on 18, if you can get this collect, it's pretty much over. It's not terrible. Side by side. Yeah, he's got a lane, though. Hit right in between those two bags. Doesn't matter if you take everything or not. Beautifully done by Double D. And that will pretty much do it. One more bag down the middle, and he will advance to the championship to play Pat Sim. And that is it. Fist bump from Lee. It was a good third place effort from Lee, but there's two things in life. Death, taxes, and Damon Dennis making it to the finals of a senior singles bracket. Yep, Take there, a look at that bar. There's the bar. There's Pat Sim warming up over there. When we come back, chat, another championship match here in Tridelphia, West Virginia, right after this.
Welcome back, man. Good Ooh, music. Island vibes. I like it. I like it. We are ready for our second of three Friday divisional championships. TikTok be tripping right now. I don't know what we got going on. Be right back. Screen for TikTok. That's new. Yeah, had a little uh, Marley to it, you know. Oh, there we go. All right. When's the last Sing. time I've taken a tropical vacation? Does Mesa, Arizona count as tropical? <laughs> no, nah, I mean, I'm talking like sitting by the pool and getting some Superman or daiquiris brought out to you. Oh, oh man. Fun fact, I uh, I won the bull riding contest down in Cancun. You, you would win a bull riding contest. 34 seconds on a mechanical bull. That's impressive. Yeah, I underestimated exactly how much my stomach and thighs would be hurting afterwards. TikTok cam. It is perfect. It is not perfect. What? Now it is. <laughs> I was like, I'm staring right at it. <laughs> oh, you're on a delay, that's why. I must be on a delay. It makes more sense. All right, here we go. Pat Sim on your right needs to be double dip. Damon Dennis going to try to do it to him. Peyton Hayes defeats Kimberly Jenkins. She will now take on Maya Cup on court 69. All right. Connie Altice after that. Peyton says she's also on team no sleep. Let go. Going to be an early day for y'all. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> We've got three more uh, tournaments to go tonight. Early 2-0 start for double D. Ah, Jack Perot with a good comment in the YouTube chat. How play this game, and I am from the United Kingdom. All tablets for Sitgo's for high school and women's tablets are working again. We have internet. Hey, love to hear that. Tablets are working again, and we have internet. So the goal of the game is to put a, the bag in the hole. One point on the board, three points in the hole. We do cancellation scoring, and first one to score... 21 points wins the game. Oh, Pat is thinking. Pat is thinking about it. He's smiling. He's going to go for it and lands on top for the 12 12. -1. If he wasn't laughing, I'm pretty sure he hits that. Oh, yeah. Whoops, there we go. I hope I age like Pat Sim. He does not look like he's 55. No, he does not. Cabo style, Kelly says. We were actually talking about Misha and myself putting on a tournament out in Cabo. Really, I would. I will be the director. If you guys need any help, you let me know. I think it'd be pretty fun. Never been to Cabo. I'm gonna go back to the Bahamas. I've been to the Bahamas a few times. That place is awesome. Kauai is definitely happening last year. I talked to Harbaugh. We're gonna play in a regional together. Do a free live feed down there in Hawaii as long as they take care of me. Wow, that sounds awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wally, the world traveler. Got to be, man. People forget you. <coughs> How quickly they just turned on me whenever I walked away. and saw I saw in the chat. I saw it. Jake and Corey are the GOAT. Best combo ever with me. I see how you guys treat me. Look there. I mean, there's only one common factor with that. With me, with me and you and me and Corey. 
cameras. You're yeah. right. Yeah. How far apart are the boards? 27 feet front to front. Ever get the feeling where you think you're going to sneeze and then, and then you don't? just now. Oh, yeah. my <laughs> God, dude. I hate it. Dawson's on his way. Be safe, brother. Safe travels. Lucas Piper is now on my blocked friends list. Hey. So it's all right. Welcome. Welcome in. How can I join from the United Kingdom? Oh, dude, Jack, you got it. Great point. So there is a thing called ACL Europe where we are putting on, uh, I think, a little over a dozen European cornhole tournaments this year. So what you can do is you can go to iplaycornhole.com and then over in the menu tab. Wow. Damon now sneaking around shots. Let's see. Where can I find this on the ACL website? Uh, right hand side, International, I think. International. Fermentational, Belgium Open. Yep. Yeah, I play cornhole.com. Go to the menu tab on the right side, scroll down until you find International. See if I can find if there's an international open. Yeah, you can probably find it by switching the cameras so I don't get yelled at all the time. <laughs> I mean. Oh, good one. So there will be an ACL open in the United Kingdom. Bury St. Edmunds, UK. That's August 23rd to the 25th. So, my guy. I'll be at Spencer's. Oh, man, you will be at Spencer's. Hopefully I'll be there, too. No, you got to go to Europe. United Kingdom. Nope. I don't have a passport. Oh, no, Pat, off the back. Damon can go in to get five. I love when Damon just looks absolutely pained to have to score on his opponents. <laughs> like, it's like, man, I'm sorry, I got to do this. To you. <laughs> well, no, it's, it's like, like uh, he expects everyone to put every bag in the hole, and then whenever you miss and yeah. have a bad round, he just grimaces and like, yeah. It's like uh, that Shawn Michaels versus Ric Flair match when Shawn <laughs> had to say, "I'm sorry, I love you" before super kicking him and beating him in WrestleMania, ending his career. Dun dun dun. Was it Ric Flair or The Undertaker? It was Ric Flair. I was, I was, well, Shawn Michaels beat Ric Flair to end his career, and then the next two years he faced The Undertaker and lost both of them. And then the second one, he lost his career to The Undertaker. Hmm. Don't ask me how I know. Nice airmail from Pat. Super kicking? Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's the name of the move. It's a super Dave kick. He wants to know the over-under on this one. Bradley's got it going 25 plus rounds. What do you think about that? 25 gonna, rounds? I would I would say right there. I was going to say under like 95 rounds. I'm going to go 23. I'll take the over on 23, but I'm going to take the under on 25. I'm going to say 24 rounds. Two more for Pat. 9 6. And Wally, I hate to I hate to be that guy, but I think your dream well, I guess maybe it will because we're going to show you the women's finals after this. So it is confirmed that the seniors bracket will finish before the women's bracket, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they still got four yep. players left. First time ever, question mark? Nah. <laughs> I mean, back in the day, a couple of years ago, there was only 12 seniors. You got the hiccups? I do. I've had the hiccups for a little bit now. Yeah, it sucks. You have the hiccups that sound like a puppy. You need to have some manly hiccups, man. I got to teach you. I got to teach you the ways. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. It doesn't really feel like a cornhole weekend until I hear that sit and go call. 
It never is. Pat in with a four bagger. Damon can go in to limit it to two, and he does. Oh, there's another poll in the YouTube chat. Who is going to win this match? The poll is completed. 62% of people said that Damon Dennis is going to win this game. Sheesh. The American Cornhole League YouTube page said, hold your breath, plug your nose, and chug some water. What? To get rid of hiccups. Hold your nose. Hold your breath, plug your nose, and chug some. Hold your water, chug your breath, and plug your nose. Yep. Can you even swallow with your nose being plugged? Yeah. It makes your ears pop. <laughs> <laughs> right behind the eyes, it got me. <laughs> See if Damon goes up here. Yep. Oh, it lands on top of the pile and rodeos off. The question is, does he go for it again? Oh, he got closer. 100% go for it. I mean, you're already down 10 2 the round. I was just talking to him about this. I said, you know, we have that and one situation set up. Do you even think about the and one or you just want to go in? He said, no, I don't even think about it. I just want to keep my lead. Going up again. Here, he's trying to get back into oh, it. Oh, he Lance laid it short. short. That is That's a, huge a round. seven spot. Just like that. Lead change in a big <laughs> way. Lead change. No, no. We need a button for that. We need a button. Oh, the air horn. That's good. 15 to 9. Pat Sam now out in front. Let's do a PPR check. Pat Sam throwing a 10, 7, 8. Damon Dennis a 10, 1, 1. Very high PPRs in the finals of senior singles. I wish I could throw a 10 by giving up a 7. <laughs> right? <laughs> Especially in 10 rounds. I'm math ain't math wow, for someone nice like me. Well, I mean, it could be worse. It could be, um, who was it? Brandon Davis last week in Carolina Conference threw a 10 4 3 and did not score a single point. Jamie Graham throws 56 bags, makes all 56 of them for a perfect game. Unbelievable. Good block there for Double D. Pat's debating step out or airmail. Elects to step out. I like, slick side down. I and like it works. Perfect. I like leaving that bag there. Mm -hmm. Damon can either go push through it. He can try to cut around it. He can go backside. A lot of options. He's stepping out and going hard at it. Wow. Good miss. That was a nice <laughs> miss. I'll say that. That is not at all what he was trying to do, but it ends up working out hey, for him. Sometimes you just got to throw the bag and then Mario Kart with your body to get that <laughs> thing to per turn around <laughs> and that gets it to go in there. <laughs> hey, what up, Travis Purser? Thanks, man. We are trying. We are running on fumes, man, but we are trying to get through this one at least, kind of walk around a little bit before the pro teams event later and then minor league teams later on tonight. Two bags now off and out of play, although that one on the edge is possibly still there. I don't know if he's going to take the risk and go for the airmail. Now he doesn't need to. Yeah, slick side. Well, he throws slick side. Step <laughs> out, sneak around it. So business as usual. Pretty. Yep, business, business as usual. Damon going to do the same thing, try to make it a 10-10 wash. No, he misses left, gives up two more. I'm getting visibly frustrated, too, just not executing on his shots. Remember when we set the lineup over under of rounds at, like, it 23, really 25? It did not go well. 17 to 9, round 12. 
What's the longest known perfect game in ACL sanction play? I believe I beat Jake Brandon by hitting 59 in a row. No. First of all, you can't. Before I missed the final bag. That's not a perfect game then. He asked what the, per the, the longest sanctioned perfect game. Yeah. First of all, it's not even accurate. <laughs> You've never <laughs> beaten me. But if I if we're being honest, I I don't I know uh, Frank Bodlin made seventy two bags in a row in one game. I'm not sure if it was a perfect game, so I'm not sure. Double D trying to bring it a little bit closer. Get that airmail too clean. Now you do it again though. He's gonna take a timeout. Let's take a look at this. What are you doing here if you're Double D? Shooting it. Pushing it real good? Nope, shooting it again. I like an airmail, backside airmail. That Mario Kart thing might work again. Yeah, put a little banana peel down. Staying tight to the board. Going up. Super high, and he drags it. What a bag. Oops. Damon Dennis. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, come on, Wally. Pat Sam gets two out of three to fall. You're doing a great job over there, bud. <laughs> I tried to push the button, and then my chair spun. And it moved the finger down to play replay. Hashtag blame Wally. Yeah, that's my bad. Damon can sneak in for two, which he does. <laughs> we both just stare at it like, there's no way to get out of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm so tired, Chad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, blame Cat. Nine o'clock setup. Did she ever respond to that? No. Oh, I figured she would have fired back right away. Nonetheless, great drag by Damon Dennis. Picks up two points, trying to claw his way back and force a game two. That's a good start. I like a block, something we haven't really seen much this game. Pat immediately slip, flips over to the sticky side. Here we go. One for one. I assume Damon's going to leave that and go up as well. No, he is going at it. Not terrible. I like another airmail here from Pat. You're suiting it well. I actually don't. You know, so I like the back block. Really? Sitting at 17, you want to try and force I mean, him to have yeah. one off the back? Theoretically, it's a better shot, but I don't think Pat's missing airmail. I'm very surprised Damon's not stepping out here. This, I think all three of those, all, both of those bags are grabbable. Oh, no, off the back. Now we're looking at giving up at least three. Pat, never mind. One bag left for each player. Four, four. See, now he's stepping out. This is the same exact angle. Yeah. Should have done this last bag. Oh, man. Pat can go up again for two to put him on 19. No, he throws it off, and somehow Damon Dennis is going to take a point. Five on four. You don't, so get, you, don't get, you don't get this in the regular open division. No, you don't get this in any other division. Maybe in women's, but could you imagine two kids treating acting <laughs> like this to each other? Like we think they'd be weird, right? Yeah. All right, so double D. 17-12, trying to get back into this one. Whether it's by skill or luck, he doesn't care. Reminder, Pat in the king seat, so if he scores four points before Damon can score nine, the game is over. However, if Damon can come back and win this one, we get to do it all again. Speaking of doing it all again, Peyton Haynes trying to get back to face Connie Altais, who put her in the loser's bracket. She's up 19-13 right now to Maya Cup. All right. 
Not too bad for the Marylanders. No, sir. Ah, nice air mail. Pat answers. Double D is two for two. And now Pat can hit a backside to wash out the round. Yes! Let's go, gentlemen. That's way better than the last round. I love these this two. Is a <laughs> I love these two. It's a preview of the Logan Paul Mike Tyson fight here. <laughs> <laughs> that was great that we got that on video. That was great. What fire bags are Pat throwing? Did he tell you some embers, embers right? Yep. Yeah. Fire embers. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to do that right to the microphone. Big gust of wind just came in out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, it was a little windy. I, we are in the mountains. Yeah, I just I just saw the replay of him uh, <laughs> boxing <laughs> shadow boxing. <laughs> He's got a good left hook. That's a question mark bag. I, sh I mean, it, it is grabbable. Ooh. Staying sticky side down here. Oh, he went after it. Wow. Gives up three. See, those are the types of shots when you're playing against somebody like Damon Dennis. I don't know if I like. You do not want to let him back into this game. That's a big momentum swing. Two-point game. Well, he at 17. I mean, I can see the risk, though. We're trying to get to 19 is huge. I guess in Pat's mind, he's thinking, all right, who's going to miss first? Him him twice or me three times, you know? Well, there's one of them. And this is still game one, 16 rounds in. Damon taking his time, knowing in his head that, mom that the momentum is switching. I wonder if Pat starts to feel it too. Damon sneaks around and now Pat has to get a bag in the hole. He does. And we are all tied up. What was at once 17 to 9 is now 17 up. This is round 17, so we are getting closer and closer to our or to our round total. Landon oh. Crabtree in the chat. What's up, brother? Welcome in. So Landon, Landon going to be here this weekend? I think I saw his name on the list. Bring that shirt with you, Landon. Maya Cup is over here, so do we know if she has beaten... Peyton well, Haynes yeah, earlier whenever I said Peyton Haynes won. What? 27 to 13. Oh, did she? Oh. I didn't okay. say that. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is a four bagger for the win for Pat. Oh, I, wow. I think that back bag is going to fall, but. I think it's pretty much as good as in. I mean, Damon's got to fire a block here. He's you have to. Right in between that green bag and that red bag. Oh, good point, good point, Dustin. So there was also zero to zero at one point. Yeah. Well played, sir. Well played. Landon will not be there. Ah. Oh, yeah, I was looking at my fantasy team. That's where I saw his name. He's on the roster. All right, so it all comes down to this shot, in my opinion. Yeah. Damon's if you miss anywhere left or right, I mean, it's pretty much all she wrote. Yeah, he's got to have a perfect block here and then kind of cross fingers at this point. He went slick side. He takes them all. Why did you? S he went slick side. Why don't you go sticky and block behind? This is in for the win. 
Pat Sim wins senior singles. What a game. What a match. They were boxing earlier. They're going to hug it out there. Oh, Pat yeah. Sim with another title on his resume. Damon Man. Dennis falls just a little bit short. You guys have asked for it. We will deliver. Brought to you by Bust You Up Cornhole. When we come back, women's singles action right after this. Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. Switching gears once again over to the women here in Tridelphia, West Virginia. This is the third place match. Winner of this to the overall finals where they will try to double dip Sarah Cassidy. Welcome in Wally Kassler, Wally K-9 Kassler alongside Jake Brandon. Bringing you coverage, Connie Altice. And Peyton Haynes on the broadcast court for the first time this weekend. Who will play Sarah Cassidy? Let us know who your predictions in the chat. This is a, this is a tough one for me to pick, man. I love Connie. Me and her are very close. And then again, Peyton Haynes from my home state of Maryland. Got to represent my Maryland peeps. What do you think about the uh, AirPods with the cord? Did you Not say many ear, Are they the AirPods ear, with the cord? I mean, they're just earbuds. Just ear, like earbuds? <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know. I'm new to Apple, man. I know that they invented the wireless, or not invented, but they had the wireless ones, and then they found a way to put a cord on it so you don't lose them, and everyone's like, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Apple sell you anything, man. <laughs> this is an opportunity for revenge for Peyton. Connie put her in the loser's bracket earlier. Oh, wow, 
wow, nice bounce over for Baton. And a 10-10 wash to start things off. Let us know who you got. Seven hundred and twenty two of y'all watching in YouTube right now. So you get a chance to see Peyton quite a bit. What is it do you think that's stopping her from taking her game to the next level? Her mentality. Her mind. Just keeping it in the yep. in the groove. Yep. So she's got great technique, good pacing on her step forward. Smart decision making. Yep. Just execution. Not listening to the right tunes, maybe. That could be a two. Yeah. yeah. Chad, what's on your playlist? What is something that you listen to to get you in the mood? What up, Chris Storms? So I don't know if you know this, but uh, every Memorial Day weekend, my my family hosts a couples only cornhole tournament. If I'll be you're there. Not, if you're not busy, Memorial Day weekend, come on over. I'll be there. I just need to find a couple. Yeah, we can we can make that work. Will there be any jerky? Of course there will be. There will be a whole <laughs> bunch whole bunch of food. That's why that's why everybody comes. They don't care about cornhole. They just want my mom's cooking. I've heard good things. The only thing I had was a piece of jerky. It was really? good. Yeah. That's all you've had? From her? Yeah. Yeah. He <laughs> said, yeah. I said, I said, damn. You need to, you need to, I need to bring you some more. Let's see. What do you want? I'll, I'll have her make some and bring it to Brighton, Michigan. Mmm. Might be cold by the time it gets there. Yeah, they got microwaves in the rooms. Good back block from Connie. Peyton's going to step out, though. Look, it's going to roll. Yep. Ooh, doesn't get over. Yeah, didn't get any bite out of that at all. Just kind of hits the pile and scoots up instead. Oh, man. Nice tap. Yeah, but nah, she missed right now. Peyton has a lane. Oh, best case scenario for Connie that doesn't fall. Connie can lay up for two if she wants to go aggressive. Backside for four. She's going to lay up, take her two, and tie the game. Who is Connie throwing with this season? Um, I believe she is throwing with Cameron Belvin. Tub and Tice. That's who's Cameron throwing with? Oh, then I believe she is throwing with um, yeah, you know, <laughs> that guy. <laughs> That guy and or girl. Who is she throwing with? It's going to bother me now. Allison Peters. Allison, yes. Allison, that's it, that's Allison. It. I did that. I, I, was I, like, I, was that. I knew it was AAR. Yeah. I'm just trying to go through the roster. I'm like, he doesn't have a partner in AAR. I, I totally knew that, and it wasn't somebody in the comments that said that. If you're just tuning in, this is the final three women Sarah Cassidy sitting in the queen seat. Peyton and Connie trying to get back there. Jackson Gore takes down the juniors division. Pat Sim takes down the seniors division. So we're going to end the live feeds after that Sarah Cassidy championship match and then be back for some pro teams action a little bit later. Jake, go ahead and tell us those matchups again. The matchups will be the Pennsylvania Ringers versus, I'm sorry, excuse me, the defending Little Pennsylvania Ringers. Put some stank on it. They deserve versus it. Versus the New England Woodchucks, and it will be the Ohio Aviators versus the Michigan Marauders. That's so what we got. We got what? Michigan and Ohio State versus Penn State and New, Eng New England. Harvard. New England's fake. It's not even a real place. Who's the best college football team in New England? UConn, UConn stinks. Jeez. Harvard, Princeton, Yale. Mm -hmm. 
4-3 lead for Connie Altice. Ooh, this is a tough roll for Peyton. Oh, she does it. Boston College is a good one, yeah. Connie going up. Oh, wow, backside. What a shot. Beautiful bag. That ball, that uh, bag, ball. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That bag rims out. Connie has a decision to make. Right now you're sitting down two, seven, five. You go in for one. I kind of like the airmail. She's stepping out, though. She went line, line drive, drive. airmail, trying to drag it. Still picks up one, makes it 5-3. That airmail looks like my accidental push where I'm trying to push the entire pile and yep. just accidentally hit a clean airmail. Nice backside there, though, for her. 5-3. to three. Peyton missing her landing spots now. This is where the frustrations get to her. Good adjustment. Gets the roll out of it. Not even a thought to step out there and collect. I thought there might have been enough of a bumper. But she stayed not. sticky side, just goes in. I wonder if that was like a frustration bag. Like she was so frustrated because of the last round. She just... Wants to sling all of her bags as quickly as possible and move on to the next round. Yeah, I mean, by no means would it have been an easy collect. I'm just, or at least like her to think about it, but she's in the rhythm, though. Five to three on the score. What round? Round nine? Yeah. Round nine. I like rounds like this where there's more rounds than points. Yep. This could be big points for. Peyton, slick side down, hug that left side, beautiful. Nicely done. Beautiful. Guaranteed, I mean, guaranteed two, looking for four, and that's what she will get. That is a lead change. Take a look at this shot. Hugging the left side of that AAR game time, collecting all three, seven, five. Peyton just got called up to the Virginia Cutters. So congratulations to her. Connie, of course, a member of the defending champion Pennsylvania Ringers. Did she go back with that team? I think she was one of the captains last year. I wasn't sure she got kept. Oh, nice push through. If only I were at the draft. If only you were <laughs> at the draft. I'm not going to lie, man. The draft is weighing pretty heavily on my head these uh, last two weeks. Yeah? Yeah. I was like, I want to get this hair cut really short, but I'm not sure if I'm going to braid it out again. So I, I was going back and forth, and ultimately I decided to go ahead and shave the head. So no braids. I think you, I think you look good with it. With braids? I think you look good how you are now. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. That's what I'm here for, man. I'm moral support. You really are. Moral support. Hi, moral support. I'm Walter. Nice to meet you. <laughs> uh. oh. All right. Peyton can take this bag and wash out the round. Or well, at least look to wash out the round. Connie in with a 10. He, no, I jinxed it. That is all you. I jinxed it. Wah, Sorry, wah, Connie. Wah. Sorry, Connie. It's 11-5. I thought you liked Connie. I do. I didn't think it would work. Cowboy Chase loves our bromance. Chase, you have like six different YouTube <laughs> accounts that you comment on. I've seen so many. Cowboy Chase, live stream sports, <laughs> your cornhole count. <laughs> That's how know. he gets all the views. Matthew says, I want to come play again. Let's go, Matthew. What are you waiting on? 
Find you a doubles partner. Come on out tomorrow. Let's go. Nice push through from Peyton. And a social. So this is social. Cheers, everybody. We'll take a look at PPR as once they put this round in. Peyton throwing a 9-7-5. Connie throwing a 9-2-5. Blocker there from Connie forces a side-by-side -side from Peyton. Oh, great push through, but they may be clogged. What does Connie do? She pushes the pile up. Nothing moves. If you're Peyton, you want to roll on top of this. Ah, I, just think it might have, I think it might have been airmail time there for Connie on bag number three. I would have liked an airmail, too. And now if this is a difficult shot. If you land short, you're bouncing off. Nothing's going to fall, and you're giving up three. But if you can hit this perfect, you may walk away with a couple of points. Yeah, and the reason I like the airmail on bag number three instead of this one here is because she pushed into the pile, kind of making yeah. that hole for the airmail smaller. Yeah, bag rims out. It's a six on three. Fourteen five. Hey, let's change, let's change the cameras, Jake. Thank you. That's how you know I'm tired because I could have easily said something into my microphone and then I did this. I just, <laughs> just snap my fingers. <laughs> like you don't have headphones on yourself. <laughs> Is Sarah still in? Yep, she's in the queen seat. The winner of this yeah. match will play her. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't know if Sarah has a title this year. Oh, man, that's another... Big time five spot for Con uh, for Peyton, Peyton Haynes. Yeah. Getting her revenge. Only a couple more points away. 19-5. Wally, what do you think of that Matt Str Str That Matt guy. <laughs> what? Where Matt Strock Stroke. Strothcamp? Strothcamp. Who's asking? Who's Matt asking? I feel like this is a loaded question. This may be all she wrote for Connie here. Peyton can go in for the win, and she rolls over. What a bag. Peyton Haynes gets her revenge, takes down Connie Altice, and is into the championship of women's singles, where she will try to double dip Sarah Cassidy. And those matches are coming up next. You're not going to want to miss it. Last two matches of the morning. Don't go away.
What? What? Uh. What okay. cat? Let's go, Jake Brandon. Feeling it? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. If you want to bust some bars, go ahead, man. I'm going to talk about Bust You Up. Make sure you guys check them out. BustYouUpCornhole.com. Or is it just BustYouUp.com? BustYouUpCornhole.com. BustYouUpCornhole.com. Yeah. The double U's always throw me off with Bust You Up. But BustYouUpCornhole.com. Check them out. Use discount code WVA. 15% off this weekend. Appreciate them coming in with the sponsorship for this weekend. Make sure you guys show them some love. If you enjoy the live feeds, support those that support us. All right, this is it, Wally. The finals. Peyton Haynes going to try to double dip Sarah Cassidy. Who do you guys got in this match? If you want to play along at home, go over, check out YouTube. We got a poll running in the chat right now. You can vote on who you think is going to win. If you correctly vote, Wally will give you a round of applause. I don't know if I can go a full round, though. Might a half like, of a round well, of applause? Might be like a U. Yeah, yeah. So make sure you go check out the uh, the poll in the YouTube chat. Shout out, though, wherever you're watching, whether you're watching on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. Well, Peyton just got back to the court. Let it be known. Where are you watching from? Wally and Jake going to be the face, are, are going to face off at the end of the day. Um, maybe we'll see. It's it's fumes for me. I don't know how Jake feels. Oh, I feel great. I feel like I could go thirty rounds. Yeah. I don't know if I could throw thirty bags. And the excuses begin. All right, let's toss it eighty feet. to the boards up. So you can toss it eighty feet. So we don't play. A, we don't play a one on one <laughs> game with me. How far can you throw the bag, Jake? Not eighty feet. I think I get. I got it there once. I got it there once. You did not come close. I think no. I think I did once. Your most was like sixty-five. No, dude, you got curly arms, bro. What you are you talking about? There. Stop. Sarah's got bigger arms than you. Those are Jimmy Human's arms right there. All right, they got the zeros on the scoreboard. Let's get it on. Peyton Haynes on your left. Sarah Cassidy on your right. These bags are important. Are important. I was going to say that. Anyway. Wizard L versus Copycat. So basically the same exact bag. Oh, Peyton throws one left. Sarah throws one right. And that Wizard L may fall off. It's hanging. There it goes. She, got she and wonder herself. And Peyton's going to give up a point. Bag number four. That dreaded uh, risky move of a fourth bag blocker from Peyton does not work out. Yeah, you don't get to start next round with it. Nope. What time do we start next live feed? Five? Is it five or is it four? You make the schedule. I just come here and talk into a microphone. Yeah, you do it so well. Friday, 4 p.m. All right, I'll get it. I'm gonna go back to the hotel, get an hour nap, and <laughs> I'll be that guy. <laughs> tempting, it's tempting. <laughs> Ooh, Peyton throws it off the back. Sarah can go in for another point, and she does. Well, I'm sorry, guaranteed another point because Peyton still has another bag. And that's what it'll be. One more point. That's how I called it. Slow and steady will win the yeah. race. She does that 19 more times. She's going to win women's. I mean, Peyton's face as she's walking down looks like she's down 15 nothing. She's got to regroup. It's only 2 nothing. Anytime you give up a point, you got to consider that a win. It's whenever you give up them five spots. That'll get you. Yep. Bar of soap. Bar nah. of soap. She's going at the pile. Ooh, Actually ends up. Helps Peyton out. Yeah. It's, I mean, I like a roll here if you're Peyton. Mm. She's going to take a timeout. What do you do here? Yeah, I like just tapping that side. Yeah, but then you're only getting a wash. I think, I think she's yeah. looking you at. think she like, could score here? I think she, if she hits a perfect roll, she can. That's a big roll, man. 
Hey, Peyton can do it. She's from Maryland. She knows how to play cornhole. Peyton, 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 Peyton. She's going to roll. Never mind. Oh, no. It doesn't fall. She's going to give up to. Sarah's lead is doubled. Make it 4 nil. I started watching Ted Lasso, and now I say nil all the time. Mm. Ever seen that show? No. I recommend you should watch it. It's a good show. No. Why? I'm watching Vikings. You makes, got me, makes me want to be a Viking. Okay. I don't ever have the urge to be a soccer coach. But you want to be a Viking? Football. Yeah, I want to be a Viking. I'll go to Valhalla. <laughs> Not a bad block for Sarah. See what Peyton wants to do here. Oh, man, it's going to be four more. Her lead is doubled again. Yeah, you're going to have to uh, do a little mental timeout or something if you're Peyton. Try yes. to get back into this one. Just not getting any of the breaks right now. No pop on the roll. Not enough on the push. Jason says her headphone cords give me anxiety. What do cornhole players do before the wireless earbuds? Do they all wear it like this? I remember when I was younger, I would, like, tuck it in my shirt. I actually had my friend um, play music at his house and hit me up on the walkie-talkie. Oh, my God. I had it on my hip back when we started playing. Yeah, you go watch your, uh, your TV shows on your VCR machine, too. Mm-hmm. You know, raw uh, crank, crank television. Nice push through. Peyton gets on the board. Yep, get the bunny ears. Yep. Brooke got the bunny ears and had to position them a certain way. Dude, when we got internet, come on now. Yeah, where, where were you the day the internet was invented? Where were you in? I'll never forget, man. I was senior like, year of college? I was like, what is this WWW thing they keep throwing on all these TV <laughs> commercials? <laughs> I'm literally older than Google. <laughs> <laughs> that roll sits on top for Peyton. That's what Sarah does. Sarah's going up. Oh, backside. she hits the backside. Nice. That was beautiful. Peyton going up. She lands short. I think that works out, though. Yeah, knocks in one of each. Sarah up again. Okay. Two for two and picks up a couple of points. Not only does she do that, but we got some awkward knuckles. Let's go. Mirror, 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 mirror. Backside airmail hits it yeah. twice in the round. Peyton left hanging. Oh, man. 10 4. You were a big, big Walkman cassette kind of guy, weren't you? <laughs> You guys don't know the struggle whenever you had that cassette player. You had to put the CD into the player and then transfer it to the tape deck, and you had to position your car so yeah, you yeah. hit a bump, it doesn't skip. <laughs> you guys don't even know. Sarah going up and, oh, what my gosh, she does it again. On. Everything falls there at the end, though, but, man, her backside airmail is hitting. Do it again. Screw it. You're Why hot. Not? She's thinking. Oh, uh, she talked herself out of it. Please say no. She did. Oh, oh. And now she's going to give up points. Should have shot it. Should have shot it. Peyton's going to take, Nothing. give up two. I mean, <laughs> wow. These last couple of rounds for Sarah Cassidy have her in fuego. That means on fire for those of you at home. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Need a sealed drum. Dun, dun, dun. Sit and go three. Let's go, Jake. Let's go, hurry, wrap this up. Let's go get in a sit and go. Remember that one time we got in a sit and go and yeah. played against each other? Who won that one? You did. Yeah, but, but you know what you were you were rewarded with playing after that? <laughs> yeah, you know I what? Hamans and Logan <laughs> Chamberlain getting each other in a sit and go? Uh, 100%. There's only two pros in a sit and go. Yeah, right. <laughs> got each other. It was so stupid. I was like, well, who's playing for a second? Oh, never mind. We're in the same bracket. <laughs> Not us. Peyton can go in to score, and she does. 12 
six. You know the stupid thing is, no Hamans will block me every round first back. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. Hey, you need to work on your getting around blocks, man. You need to work on getting around blocks. Hey, I held my own for the first three rounds, <laughs> and it was way downhill. Matter of fact, we just took a bulldozer and took the hill out <laughs> completely. <laughs> it was like 12 on two. It was just over. Jumped out of a plane with no parachute. Back block. That's what Peyton needs. Here we go. You want a messy board if you're Peyton. This is your area of expertise. Hit this roll and start cooking. Oh, man. She doesn't like it, but it's really not that it's bad. It's not bad at all. I mean, unless if, if, if she goes out her next bag on slick side, she'll get that double tap. Sarah's taking the time be, out. Yeah, she could be looking at a couple here. I mean, you got that. You got 50% of the back lip open. She's done it twice. Yeah, so if I take out my telestrator here and I draw a straight line, and this yep. little push right there, you can see both backs falling in. I mean, remember what I, I would have, did I do that at Worlds? So just drew on the thing. Miranda Coy's shot was ruined forever. <laughs> Nobody noticed it. Everybody noticed it. Well, hey, why don't you mess around and go up and get this, Sarah? Go shoot this. Nope. That's Ooh, she bounced perfect. on top. That's, yeah, beautiful. Same situation here, though, for Peyton. She's going slick side. Yeah, you want to tap that left side. Make sure those bags fall. Too far to the no, right. No, they don't. And nothing, now Sarah. There. Yeah, Sarah's lucky to lay up and walk away empty-handed. Just tuning in. What is this for? This is the women's singles final. Peyton Haynes needs to double dip. This is game number one. Twelve six lead. Sarah out in front. Round ten. Sarah, off the back of a couple of nasty backside airmails, has regained momentum in this one, and now Peyton misses left. This is in for two to put her on 14. Count it. Put it on the board, yes. Is that trademarked? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm going to start saying that. It's Hawk Harrelson. Candler bag in the chat asks how Junior's going. Junior's already done. Done so. It was won by some scrub. My dude. He's sitting right behind me, Jack Gore. Look at this, Jake. You'll never get one of these. Yeah, you'll never get one of those. I know. I will <laughs> literally never get a Junior singles plaque. You're right. You're not better than me. You're right. Well, who's that bag short? That Peyton with a bag short it is. Wow, how about this? Who has more titles, Devin Harbaugh or Jimmy Humans? Uh, I mean, you think the obvious answer would be Devin, so it makes me want to go Jimmy. I'm going to say Jimmy. Devin. Damn. <laughs> What's the difference? What's the difference between me and you? Meanwhile, if you stop scrolling on your phone back in the game, it's I'm 19 trying, I'm trying to, to get six. Sarah's titles. <laughs> <laughs> she's won. 19 6. Sarah Cassidy, two points away. From a title. It would be great if they can make this searchable. Ooh, that's going to be it if Sarah can push it out of the way. Peyton's going to have to go grab that. To put the pressure on Peyton, Sarah is in. Peyton has to grab it. She almost does. Hits it again. No love. And that is going to do it. Sarah Cassidy takes down women's singles. It is, is it confirmed to be her first ever title? I don't know. I didn't get that far yet. All right. Well, congrats to Sarah Cassidy taking down women's singles here in West Virginia. So we have our three champions from the early window. Jackson Gore takes down juniors. Pat Sem takes down seniors, and Sarah Cassidy takes down women's. Congratulations to all of them. All right, while we get a little bit of a break, hour and a half, Nine hour nights. and a half, we're going to be Let's back here 4 o'clock Eastern for some pro teams action. You're not going to want to miss it for Wildly Castler. I'm Jake Brandon signing off. We'll see you in a little bit. Here you go.